<sighs> I should be watching she. Time for a bit more Elden Ring DLC stuff. I think I'll be exploring that river area. I like river. Should get me down to the Cerulean Coast after that. Mr. Tillier here. Said, I believe. If we go back here, we can talk to Moore and have a stole over something to Tillier. That's the idea, at least. Come on, come on. So he and Ansbach are right here. Anything to say? Nothing. Literally nothing. Okay. Hi, Moore. Talk to Moore. I know. Give this to the. Ah, uh, yep, and that's that black syrup. And this is... Yep, something for a concoction. An interesting poison. Hmm. And... Like finding do you now? For you, Lady Leda, her allies, and the forager for fruit. Okay. Things bring joy to all. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. With space. Right, we also got this from that one dragon. Dragon so flush, boosts vigor, stamina, strength, and dexterity. It costs gradual HP loss. Lump of hot flesh carved from beneath the inverted scales said to grow on aged dragons. That's a very eastern notion. The reverse scale. When ingested as is, boosts vigor, stamina, strength, and dexterity. It costs gradual HP loss. At five each. To the Drake Warriors, there is no more intox intoxicating liquor than the heat of dragons. Black syrup. An emony black syrup is held in an unglazed jar. More asks that this be delivered to Tillier, an unknown liquid apparently gathered and aged by the forager brood. Huh. Let's go back here. In the end, once I get 17 or so more levels so I can use... Oh, Blessing of the Earth Tree without having to have a rune arc up. Then I can afford to fight without a rune arc, but... Let's give him that black syrup. What is it? You tell me. Sharp eye. Ebony. That sky on ending reminds me of Nokron. That's what the Three Belters calls it. Ask about it. We have to rest a bit. Oh, and that is? Uh-oh. It's a bit ominous. Oh, because it's St. Trina's stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so it just gives it already. A list of dragons. But we can't use it ourselves. It's basically the tonic of forgetfulness for this version. Oh, okay. Thanks. Basically just fancy poison. Oh! Okay. An ebony black- we can actually use it. An ebony black concoction mixed by Thelia. Condensed somniferous sleepy elixir. Purported to be capable of putting even an ancient dragon to sleep for an ordinary mortal a single sip. But assuredly result in swift and certain death. Thelia thought of St. Trina's sleep when he created this, but the ebony sleep he concocted, not the sweetness of nectar, but the gentleness of rest embrace. Yeah, it just kills you. Great! <clears throat> Should go with Go to the cave. And all that does is... Oh, then he sells more of it. Okay. And the shop for 30,000 runes each. All it does is kill you. <laughs> and it can become missable. It's an rewards for the dragon communion priestess. Alternative rewards. Or killing bale. Huh. You return, you get the priest's heart and the fire soot and gavel. You can get the dragon bolt of Floris axe. If you put her to sleep with a concoction. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Dragon bolt of Floris axe. Interesting. Well, we should go over here. 
the Elak River Cave. Couple ways to go from here, and I think we should head to the right first. Yeah. <clears throat> the enemy is in here. Also, that is right, I do need to go and farm some foul feet. Do that real quick. Some fireflies. It'll be alright. Let's put on alabaster sword, switch to a setup to maximize drop chance. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay. This way, and put on the albinoric head. There we go. Alright. Probably use one of the silver foul feet. There is that horn tender too, but it's not exactly my aim. Hello. It's interesting how it seems to alert enemies like that. Hmm. It is what it is. Some very high drop chance. Maybe it's the way I'm approaching. I see them basically just get launched by keeping their momentum. After getting killed. Okay. So. Really does make me wonder. Maybe it's the speed of the thing. It's really, really weird though. Come on. <clears throat> Some kind of faster AoE might do the trick, but I'm not sure what would work without alerting enemies. Hmm. Just what kind of spell? See with this? It's Gravitas. Upgraded with a higher range. It's good. But I guess we'll have to get to make sure they don't go away. It's really, really strange. Maybe something that pierces through all of them at once and you hit from the side? Really don't know. And two out of three of them went over the edge. It... Maybe I need some kind of... Stealth? Would the crepuses vial do the trick? I wanna see. This is only it's all sound made during movement. Yeah, but that does not... Make them not go over the edge. It's really weird. It... It feels like it was a change made in a patch. Unless I'm doing something differently, and I... The only thing I can think of would maybe be armor. Not that I'm wearing heavy armor, but... Armor has nothing to do with... Alerting enemies, to my knowledge. It's really, really strange. Huh. But it... Maybe something like Rock Sling? It's hard to say, though. We're... Getting rid of all of them very easily, but it's not the same as them all staying on the ledge and being able to actually get their drops. Yeah, because just fly off. Seriously, what gives? Huh. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe something like Spectral Lance them from the side or something and it seems <sighs> got two and they stayed but neither of them dropped an item that time it's really annoying but it <sighs> feels as if it would have to be the fact that they went into the ground and when the sword goes in the ground that seems to make the noise that alerts them it's just a sort of what could I do that would reliably hit them all immediately? Anything? Maybe a perfume bottle? I don't know. Legitimately kind of strange. It's an idea. Hmm. John, that isn't. Perfect, and it. Hmm. 
Let's try that. Uh, yeah. It's not it. The AoE just is not good enough. What? Honest to goodness, it might just be Flame of Frenzy for this. Either way, should be putting on some like Blessing of the Retreat here instead. Just for the sake of slot, so I can actually put in Protection of the Retreat, I mean. Take Black Flame's Protection, then put in Grail's Roar. It's got a bit more space then. Question is what else I put on. Blood Flame's Blood Flame Point is always good. Hmm. It's something other than... Some kind of fire projectile is probably a good choice. <clears throat> Giant's Flame, but that takes two. Could do Flame Fall upon them, I guess. It's an option. The big thing is that... Eh, Black Flame still might be the best option, even if it was nerfed. I don't know. <clears throat> I like the shotgun effect. Mm -hmm. So all their projectile options, I've got Bolt of Grant's Axe, I've got Sacred Blades Projectile. I don't really need much in the way of just pure projectiles on weapons anymore. Starlight. Cool. Yeah, because having Grail's Roar available would probably actually be pretty good. Just to ensure... A little bit less damage from enemies and all that. Come on. Oh, well. Actually, the Fire Spark for Fume Bottle is pretty good. It seems like it doesn't really make noise somehow, which is interesting. Well, got more feet. In the end, the Silver Foulfoot isn't all that crucial for this. Hmm. Let me just use another anyway and farm some more until I run out. Some more foul feet or something. We'll be okay. Come on. If that's the speed of that is good. <clears throat> it's just fast. And the fact that it's some lingering means... Okay. Do it while you're still, instead of while running. I figure that might work too. Hmm. See what happens. That's too vertical. Okay. Thanks. Well, I... That almost made me fall off. That would have been funny in the worst kind of way. <clears throat> Right. But Fire Spark is interesting. Pure deck scaling on a fire weapon is definitely an interesting choice. Oh, an opinion multi drop. Oh, I use more arrows. Thank you. Thank you. Range isn't crazy, but it's decent. We're getting lots of lots of foul feet. Helps that our item drop chance has been really, really juiced. Hello! It's farming some bird feet. Simple as. Make more of the rune boost feet for bosses. Well, it was. I basically just woke up. How are you? Good to see you. Come on. But, I'm using one of the perfume spray bottles right now. It's nice. Don't call me that. Are you one of the monsters? Maybe don't answer that question. Okay. I'm not, I'm not actually offended. Wait, what? From what?
Well, you've literally told me not to trust your memory. How could we- how could any of us know? Right. Burn. Burn. And yeah, of course. The Ur tree is burning. I don't really think about that anymore, but... Yeah, the Ur tree is in a state of... I, I would think maybe these ashes are from that. No, I'm not too much sure. It's probably just something your people made up. I would imagine. Or maybe it's something Italian. Same thing, really. Italians are all made up anyway. Alright. And go back. <laughs> Great Jar's Arsenal. There we go. Okay. We put other stuff back on. Get some of the fireflies. Okay. You already were. This is nothing new to any of us. Don't act like this was some sort of retaliation. Okay. Hmm. Backhand blades are actually not that much weaker than this katana. Katana really is just a dragon killing weapon. First and foremost, damage is this gonna deal with the weapon art? Come on. Oh wow, not a one hit? It's actually surprising. You want me to cancel stuff? <laughs> Let's throw the backhands. Okay, okay. Hmm, DPS is real good. It is not the Pokemon. Okay. Dragonwood Slash was quite strong, but it, for being a, a light weapon and paired up, it's more power in this thing than you would expect. Not every bear is Ursaring, you literal Philistine. I swear, you're impossible sometimes. I'm gonna feed you to the bear. What really surprises me is just... Even coming back to Limgrave at a really high level with a fully upgraded weapon, that did not one-tap the bear. Ursaluna? Kinda. I guess. Oh. Poise damage is ridiculous. Okay. What do you think about- what do you think about Ursulina? Do you like it? Come on. Dodge. One, two, three, four. Okay. Thank you. What do you mean by not much of it? It is really funny how they gave it a special form in... The new game in Scarlet and Violet's DLC. Nilsery isn't new. Sword and Shield were six years ago. Stop being such a Gen 1 -er. <laughs> Okay. Will this do any extra damage hitting the head? Not really. Come on. Cut. There we go. Voids are good. And just more poop and blood. Classic. Well, don't you literally say that you emulate? You could, couldn't you? Slash, slash. Okay. Are you not? Well, but you've done it anyway, right? Feel as if 
It's one thing if they don't interest you. Because Scarlet and Violet honestly don't interest me all that much. The new music is good because they had Toby Fox do it. Well, to tell you the truth, it's not that much more playable on an actual Switch. Scarlet and Violet were pretty infamous for having horrible, horrible performance. There were many complaints, and I wonder if the presumably coming Switch 2 is going to be better in that regard, but if it'll run the game better, have some patch or something, I don't know. We'll see. In the end, it... The next Pokemon game I'd play would be the new Legends one anyway, so... Come on. Oh, okay. Just gonna keep cutting. Bulky enough that I don't have to bother dodging. Hi, other bear. But... It, it is, it remains funny that the bears are still some of the most dangerous enemies in the game. Which, in real life, of course, bears are comically dangerous, but it's just... This is a fantasy game. I'm, I'm not interested in Pokey MMO. It... Most people stop thinking that... A Pokemon game with every region, quote-unquote, would be a good idea after they get older than 15. Because it would be horrible as a game design decision. It... It's like how people have increasingly gotten sick of, the, of every single game being open world. Because... Once you get past the fact that it's somewhat impressive to have a game with a crazy amount of content, it's just... The game starts feeling watered down. The more things there are in the game, the less individual value every individual thing in the game has. That's fair, but... There's also very seamless multiplayer in Scarlet and Violet too. And presumably whatever game, mainline game is coming next, it's just... If I have the option of playing the real thing... The, the only fan games I'm really interested in would be Insurgents. And stuff made by the people who made Insurgents. It's kind of like how, before I got my PC... I used to play a lot of games on Roblox, which were basically just knockoffs of real games, quote unquote. But once I had the PS, once I had the PC, I stopped because there's there was just no point in playing the inferior version. Generally, okay. So we can actually get down here, and this should lead over to Cerulean Coast eventually. So a dungeon over here and a bunch of crabs and some ruins that we do not have a way of getting up to at the moment. Okay. I should get on the horse. That's right. Hmm. Found some dew gems over here, but not sure what I would even craft with them. A bunch of rocks you can pick up here, which you can literally throw. You can make them into one of those big hefty pots, that one that just contains a bunch of rocks. Or you can literally just throw the rocks. Someone did a playthrough just with the rocks. I'm not kidding. They had to hack things so they had an infinite supply. But they were able to just use the rocks and nothing else, which is really funny. Come on. Alright. This is a good anti-bat tool. It's an interesting idea. That's what I'll say. So maybe I'll keep this on until... I find something that isn't a bat. Yeah, I think they called it Unga Bunga or something. I don't know. Okay, in another world this would have been a cave entrance. Oh, we got rats. Okay. Good old rat. Come on. 
Chop up. Oh my goodness. The rats are strong. I wonder how many more shadow tree fragments I'll be able to get before I take on the castle. Hmm. I know there are crabs in this river because I did poke around it a little bit before. And we got Behold Rock. Why is it always a dead end? So the precious item, therefore praise the message. No thanks. Alright. See what's up north from here. Rats that I killed. Rats that I haven't killed. Do jam. Hmm. Looking our way up. Slave but surely. Thank you. Oh, more rats. Thanks. Come on. And the strong attack does not actually guarantee a one tap on the rat. Surprising, but it is probably due largely to the DLC's own separate scaling system. Okay, come on. Anything if I get up here? It doesn't really seem like it. Okay. There is. Oh, more rats! Awesome. That's what I like to see. Found slashing. Thank you. Yeah, the Dragon Hunter's great. Katana doesn't have crazy scaling, so... Other than using it on dragons, I don't think it'd be all that worth it. The Rat Girl. I know that... Oh, and it... Oh, Tree Spirit. Nice. That, actually, we got some options to take it down. Hmm. Let's buff up. I wonder where it is. Blessing of the Earth Tree. Golden Vow. I think Protection of the Earth Tree would be a good option here. And then uh, Grail's Roar. Use that. And then just spam Flame Fall upon them, maybe. It's an option. There we are, and... Oh, come on. That's... Charge. Oh my goodness. Come on. Charge. Toss. I'm decent enough. Mm -hmm. Come on. I uh, Maybe I would prefer Black Flame for a weapon with inherent fire damage, because this is... You know, actually, let's try Blood Fiends. Let's see what that does here. I... Okay. Come on. I... Okay. Oh, annoying. Dodge. Okay. Charge up that heavy or not. Ah, what are we doing here? Can we even proc bleed against you? I don't even know. This feels a bit more annoying than the other tree spirits I've fought for some reason. Oh, well. Got you down. Let's crit. One. Two. It's having it here as a Random trash enemy is strange. Come on. Okay. Annoying. Heal. Slump. Okay, thank you. And one more critical. That. There was one of these tree spirits in Belly Rat, too. Oh, we got the Horned Bairn. Good that it always drops something of note. Uses FP to summon vengeful spirits around the caster, doll of a Tinglehorn Baron. Uses FP to summon vengeful spirits around the caster that autonomously chase down foes. Tingled horns were a symbol of spirituality, but most young born bearing the oversized horns made a frightfully early demise. His fetishes were made to memorialize them. They're like the omen barons that we found in. Oh, that's cool. Unfortunately, it's not very good. They, there's an NPC who uses something like this, and theirs are really strong for some reason. Also, if you hit walls, they break off. Yeah. It's an interesting idea. Okay. And that... Yeah, I probably need Black Flame instead of Flame Fall Upon them if I just want a splashable fire projectile. That's fine. Hmm... Gonna be some weapons. What I should have just done was put Blood Flame Blade on 
the backhands I had equipped and just slashed at it. But hindsight is twenty twenty. These things are just so good. I do find it funny that they didn't really add any more enchantable paired weapons. They added the martial arts. They do have some fists, but there's nothing like Drang Hammers. Or Drang Twin Spears, which... Again, I miss those. I really do. Paired weapons worked really well in Dark Souls 3. And... In a way, I felt like they really just suited the kind of game that Dark Souls 3 was. In terms of being a very speedy game. But more in the sense that enemies were speedy rather than the player being speedy. Because some people have basically said that Dark Souls 3 is... A game with enemies who move at Bloodborne speeds while the player moves at just typical soul speeds, which... To be fair, you are a bit faster, just but only a little compared to Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. Still not Bloodborne levels of fast, but it's still not that horrible. But the paired weapons go really well in a game where enemies are very fast and you need to be fast to make up for it. And also, they were just incredibly cool. And the fact that they were specifically very compatible with enchantments due to enchanting your right hand one meaning that when you two-hand it and therefore pulled out a second weapon in your left hand you would just get another enchanted weapon which is not how power stancing works it's as cool as power stancing in dark souls 2 was it you could only have one of them enchanted at once unless you had and this to be fair this is part of what made the casting weapons in Dark Souls 2 so cool, there were some weapons that could be used as casting tools, and therefore, since they were also enchantable, one thing you could do would be you could have the sword that let you cast sorceries, the blue flame in one hand, well, you could power stance them, and then you could use each to buff up the other. And not only would that mean you would have two weapons that could be enchanted, and therefore attack with two enchanted weapons at once via dual wielding, but Buffing them also actually increased the damage of their spells when cast. But it do didn't increase the damage of the enchantments they put on, because enchantments in Dark Souls 2 were not flat damage based on your casting modifier, but... Basically, they added a scaling factor to your weapon that was just pure stats. So... You could cast a weapon buff with any catalyst, and it would be the same amount of strength. Because it had nothing to do with the catalyst you cast, just your stats. But that does mean that on casting weapons, you could buff the casting weapon, and it would... Interesting. Take the hammer out. Should be a good option. Thank you. Let's put on the starlight. But you could make your spells stronger by buffing your casting tool if it was one of the casting weapons. Which is a really funny idea. That said, even then, I'm pretty sure that even with the buffs, the weapon casting tools did not outmatch actual staves even though well staves or chimes even though those could not actually be buffed the same kind of way but it's an amusing option and the main thing is just being able to dual wield enchanted weapons if you had come on did not actually get the stance break attack fair oh and do that from behind too so many of these weird flymen be fair, they were basically taken from Dark Souls 3's first DLC. In terms of their rigging and behavior, even if they look significantly different. But, you could dual wield enchanted weapons, which would be really cool looking. Also give you nice magic type damage DPS, or elemental DPSs of various kinds. What is interesting is that 
I did some poking around and reading recently on the topic, and... Dark Souls 2's approach to magic damage in the DLC is very, very interesting. Because if you try to look at descriptions of sort of resistances of DLC bosses in Dark Souls 2, you don't get a lot of straight answers, and it turns out that the reason why is because it's just really painful to test for the specific reason that everything in Dark Souls 2's DLCs takes half damage from any kind of magic projectile, which is not the same as taking less from elemental damage types, so if you put it on a weapon via a weapon buff or an infusion, you would still get the full damage, and if the enemy was weak to it, it'd work really well. And a number of the bosses are weak to elemental damage types, it's just, if you use it as a projectile, it's going to be a lot weaker. But it's not immediately intuitive and obvious, so wikis don't exactly have all that complete information on enemy weaknesses. But that said, the spell sword builds I tried to run in Dark Souls 2 DLC worked really well. Most of the time. Oh, come on, don't poison me. Please. Slam and. Are we poisoned? We are not poisoned. Let's heal myself up. Weird fly there. It is what it is. Let's put up some starlight. Thank you. And I didn't break it, so we'll just roll. Thank you. Uh, okay. That is a broken rune. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? Uh, where are we going? What are we doing? Uh, me too. Mostly just round rocks around here. That's fair. So it widens out over here. I think this is where the crabs start, and then we have the Rivermouth Cave. Slashing damage is going to be good in there. Based on a little bit of cursor research I've done on what's inside. Oh, more flies. Great. Thank you. Sacred Blade is a takedown, which is nice. I oh my goodness! I didn't expect that. Come on. One, two, three, four. Nice! Actually really good at taking them out. Come on. Come on. Okay. Maybe I need a bit more in the way of buffs right now. Come on. Slam. Slam. Okay. And that health buff is gone. Health regen buff is gone. Said, I think I'm gonna want to keep this hammer for one of the fights in Cerulean Coast. I'm not sure I'll be able to reach it today, though. The putrescent night fight. But oh, and we got a bunch of corpses, which is probably why the flies are here in the first place. Okay, so it seems to be narrowing a little. Check around here to make sure we don't miss anything of note. Or anything of not note. <laughs> I think we've got everything around here more or less correct. So, keep on going. What are we doing this? Oh my goodness! What heck of a mound of corpses. I can't remember whether there was an item there before or not, because I did go through here a little. Not completely, but... A decent amount of stuff was found and obtained. How do I... Keep on moving. Get more rocks. How then... Reach to the widened point. In the end, it, blessing the urge tree as efficient as it is, doesn't really matter when you've already got oh, the ability to 
regain flash from enemies. Lots of blood. Awesome. So the crabs over here should hopefully be decently easily dealt with using Bodvin's arm, given that I've phased out Giant Crusher due to being old. Okay, so that's something we went over. Try some of this. Where, where, where? All right. Come on. Oh, right, we need to take off our gloves. Okay. Thank you. Simple enough. The angle on that is slightly suboptimal, I would say. Hmm. I'm moving. So this is two gem. Cave seems to be over there. Let's. Can we get bleed on you? I, I don't know actually. Can we? Took a couple of hits. Hmm. I. Blood fiends is definitely nowhere near as good as it was pre-nerf. It's not the same as bad, but... Wait, there's something over here. Oh, hello! It's over this way. These the ruins, or... The underneath? It's interesting. I didn't know he could even go this way. Now check that waterfall. Basin. Hmm, if we gotta heal back up anyway, we may as well use another buff of sorts. Blessing. Chop you all down. Did I come here already or not? Can't even tell. Oh, come on. Two, three, four. Get the remainder. Thanks. Spit out your guts. One, two, three, four. What are you going to do? I think there was just some item here that I picked up. Is this where... This might have been where I got that one turtle talisman. Okay. Silly way to do it. This... Time for dog. Turtle neck meat. I bet... This is where two-headed turtle talisman was. Okay. So, go out of that river cave, and see what's there. Hmm. So I didn't see that. What what in particular do you think was silly? Hmm. Oh, come on. Come on. Anything in there? Fatty message? Worse. Wait, did I... Wait, what was a silly way to do what? I'm, I'm really slipping. <laughs> okay. So... I have enough brain power to kill things, and that's about it right now. But I definitely have enough brain power to kill things. And that's what's important. Mm. Mm. Round rock, don't really need that. Oh, skull on the pillar. Come on. Exactly, exactly. It's the only thing that matters right now. Whether I can kill things. Okay, we can't at least knock that down. Fair. Pick up the item. Now they're crappy rune, but less crappy than basic and crappy runes. Okay. Thank you. This is... Oh, just a goat, sheep, something like that. Hmm. wonder what else might be over here worth getting, if anything. I don't know. I don't know. Let's check this out. This is a cave, I mean, a cliff that just drops off leading to nothing. Great. Okay. So, gonna go in that cave. 
Dual swords are going to do the trick without much trouble. So everything there of note is weak to slashing damage, but... The Great Katana is really just for dragons. It's a weapon skill stick for its funny jumping projectile slash, which, again, is really, really good against dragons, but especially since it does have a special anti-dragon -da damage bonus. But it's not for much else, which is, again, by design, but does mean that I'm better off using other things in other situations. Okay. The only thing here would be that river mouth cave. That's fine. Go down to here and then we can go southward. Down around here we can do some platforming to get down to Cerulean Coast. I believe. Should also have the map for Jagged Peak over here. Because otherwise we won't be able to see a thing. Okay. Thank you. Rest at this side of grace. Which we already had, anyway. Wait. Right then, let's put up our light. This place is not supposed to be all that long, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Wolves, some blood fiends. Yep, they go down easily. Which makes sense. Come on. Hefty beast bone, yeah, whatever. Then beast buffs, beast bone, okay. Supposed to be a blood fiend at the end of all this. But it seems to just be wolves for now. Okay. Slash. Up the flesh. Thin beast bones. Okay. How are we doing this? Hmm. I'm trying so hard. How do I... Let there be up. Is there anything on top? Maybe they're talking about that little... Bridge-like passage? Maybe. Who knows? Oh, what? Okay. Never mind, maybe? Okay. Can get me down pretty quickly if I'm dumb about it. Hmm. Let's put our blessing back on. Thank you. Hmm. Thin beast bones. I should not underestimate the power of the wolves. This should lead me up. Then around that way? Doesn't look like an item there. So I wonder what that little bridge is supposed to be. Probably just a way back. Oh, so that drops you down. It's a little worrying. But, I wonder if that's just a way to sort of climb back out of the pit. That seems reasonable. Put this on just in case. I, obviously that's going to break. The roof trap, yeah. Oh, okay. Where is... A nearby enemy, if anywhere. And it's just a really crappy rune. River of Blood, how nice. Sanguine Amaryllis. Grown by blood fiends in pools of blood, a blood fart with meaty petals. Grown by blood fiends in pools of blood, perhaps even the fiends admire blood's beauty. Hmm. Oh, and there they are. There you are. Okay. Hello. Well, at least, as big as they are, they're actually remarkably fragile. That's funny. I think this leads back to where this all started. Hi! Aren't really precious items to get in here, to my knowledge, for better or worse, but... Eh. I think this is leading to where this started. Come on. Sacred bloody flesh. Very futility. Attack power and arcane. But it's not much force in that and Yeah, that just takes you back here as you can see. Take the drop down again. Shouldn't kill me. Yeah, it's not even all that far. Sometimes they'll 
let you survive falls that you normally wouldn't be able to. They're trap related, but. Hmm. Let's buff ourselves up before this funky fight. Everything around here could drop down. Wonder if that's the entire fight with the chief or. I think I see fog on the other side. Oh, hello. Come on. One, two, three, four. Nice. Could put on Blood Flame now. Then, honestly, could Grails this. A lot of you here. Thank you. Oh, okay. Come on. Big AoE. Nice. Actually, a good option just for the AoE there. I, okay. I, oh, all right. Come on. That's... Oh, please. Come on. Come on. Just keep roaring. Come on. Funny dragon moment. And it does decrease their attack power, too. Come on. Come on. Thanks. I... Oh, am I gonna get trapped in this... I... My, I don't like that at all. Just gotta keep rolling, 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 rolling. God damn! It. What options do I have here? It. Something with a good range to it. There's an AoE around me. It needs to be a forward facing AoE, and that's. Oh, we're not gone. God fucking damn it. <sighs> hmm. Something. What kind of breath. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I never actually got Theodorx's magma. That's funny. It's easier to forget than I might have liked, but oh, I can't teleport back now anyway. Mm -mm. It... What fiends are weak to? What? Physical. So actually, Rot Breath would be a good option here. Presumably. Hmm. Honestly, pest threads are niche enough. I don't even use it anymore. The big thing would be dragons and have another dragon option now. Keep black flame in there and then something splashable. Sure, Exyches is decay. Either way, that was annoying. Whatever. Well, Zen, just use it wherever. You can just put it in any build. Or just something that's generally going to be useful in almost any given situation. Because that is how I would describe something like Black Flame. It's a decently fast, decently ranged projectile with a... At least outside of the DLC, very useful side effects. Additional effect in the HP shred. And it's just altogether a good option. Deals fire damage, which is by far the best elemental damage type in Elden Ring. It's really, really good. Well, time to kill these stupid blood fiends for real. Hmm, Golden Vow. Black Flames Protection, and then... Just Exyches them, I guess. Sure, I. Oh, right. Never mind. Two. Okay. Exyches mm -hmm. is decay. Good here. Hello. Come on. I. Ah. Uh. How much damage is this gonna deal? 
Well, we could use that for a bit longer if I knew what I was doing. It's very straight. What I should be doing is just... What? Okay. Spamming attacks after getting them in a choke point. Okay. One, two, two. Just blood flame blade that then. It... A group fight is never a good situation. Never. Red ahead, therefore try dashing through, whatever. Two, three, four. Oh well. One, th oh well I actually didn't want that because it let them catch up with me. Come on, I what, what? Uh, now we can weed them out, hopefully. Hmm. I'd say maybe Exactus could be good here, but no, no. What? I okay. What? Huh? Huh? I hate you. What in the? What the? How did you get up there? They can jump. Kill yourself. It's just. What am I supposed to do? This is horrible. What the fuck? Nasty gank situation. Just why? Why? It. I'm trying to think about what weapon would even be good against them. Honestly, it might have to be the katana. We'll try that. And so it would at least be good at stunning them. Presumably. Yeah, that. It's nice. To an extent. Hmm. See how this goes. But. Kind of infuriating. Just a little. It. Being as reliant on rune arcs as I am does not help. I might have to totally change up the way I do things. That. Not bad. I bet. That might be a one tap with the right box, maybe. Much to think about. Oh well. Get over here. Get over here. Take this slow and steady. Thanks. I. It's not. It can't be. Oh well. Luckily, it's almost a one tap and. Staggers pretty well, too. Oh, and it goes over them, which is nice. Good. Hmm. Who and where? Come on. Hit. Slash. Then we gotta keep our distance. Okay. Hmm. One weapon and... Oh, my goodness. You have magic? That's vile. Oh, and there's AoE on that. I did not expect that. Okay. Bit of piercing to it. Very, very mortal blade, honestly, which I like. And poise on that attack as well. Thank you. Hmm. Other way of your blood boon, right? And you can get up here, too. Hey, what? Never mind. Okay, I... Come on. Heal. 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 And... Ah. Uh, what? Thanks. Ah. Uh, really? Any wolves are not coming down, but... Come on. Slash. I... How are you getting me through here? It's ridiculous. Come on. And I... Uh, uh, can I... Slash and... What? What? Never mind. Slash. Ne what? Really? 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 Okay. Come on. Cut. Okay, we got one. Almost. 
Uh, it's got a stab. Okay. Hmm. Got a lot of you down, but no one means so much for me. Okay. String. Drop string? Okay, well, at least they seem to all be gone now. Blood Fiend's fork. Oh, I think that drops from that one the first time. Weapon used by the Blood Fiends. Three tines of carved bone. Spear the victim for, to provoke blood loss. A ritual implement for blood offerings so the formless mother. At times, the Blood Fiends will spill even their own blood using these forks. Huh. Oh, there are more of them. Okay. Sanguine Amaryllis. Uh, all right. It's life. Well, can keep on cutting and stabbing. What are these? Hmm. Those, and it's just two more blood fiends. I'm surprised they didn't come with. Okay. That's a good way to take them out, actually. I suppose. Oh, there we go. About the same. The projectile, it's about the same as it. Jumping heavy. But of course, it's from range. And combined, you get good damage. Sacred body flash, whatever. Uh. Let's buff back up. Mm -hmm. Golden Vow. Black Flint's Protection. Rail's ready for the start of the fight. Okay. Should be the Chief Blood Fiend. Hello. And dodge. Okay, nice. I okay. Oh my goodness, you're actually really tough. Okay. It should hit you with that, which is good, but... Okay? Huh. Can I... Okay, not perfect, boys. Wow, I... Hmm. Okay, I tried using deflect here, but... Hmm. Uh, oh, blood mist. Oh, what? Never mind. That missed me entirely. That's funny. Okay. Uh -huh. Buff helped, but we're better off dodging this. Probably also better off just using this skill, which dealt some hard knockdown to. I okay. How did that not hit me? Not that I'm complaining. Come on. A deflect here is an interesting idea, but not all that... Ooh. Yeah, I like that, actually. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Not if I... Uh. Can't... Actually get the... Ah, uh, never mind. Come on. Oh, I... I'm out of healing. Guess who's out of healing? Me. Okay. Come on. What? I... Okay. This is really annoying. What? How is he strong? What? I... Let's try this without the stupid run arc. I can't get the healing buff anymore, and I can't equip much in the way of armor anymore, but... I can't farm any more fucking Renarks. I cannot waste my time like that anymore. <sighs> okay. All right. Dodge. I. Uh. What is with your crazy attacking? Okay. Uh, only so much we can do in terms of poise. Okay. Dodge. Can I... Ooh, okay. I... Uh, the guard counter's being stronger is fun, but it's... 
up without turning it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is really fun. This is real fun. Okay, uh, uh. Come on. Oh. I could have sworn I would have deflected that. Come on. There. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Dodge. Dodge. Ah. Give me that deflect. Hmm. Ah. What? Oh, I bet you can't deflect that, can you? If it's unblockable, presumably it's undeflectable too. Hmm. But... Things will go faster if I just stop caring about rune arcs. It... It is what it is. Just hope that Golden Valve comes back. Well, that I get enough for... To cast Blessing the Urgery eventually. One, two, and... I... No, wrong one. I'm stupid. Come on. Luckily, that made you a bit more manageable, but... Okay. Dodge. Come on. Dodge. Ah. Actually, tough. Ah. What? Okay. Come on. Just... Ah, what? Do I need to hold down those... Definitely to hold down those deflects. Hmm. Uh, hold it down so just tapping. Uh, okay. Uh, I couldn't dodge that? Really strange. I, I'm at medium load. What gives? Hmm. Roll. Okay. Come on. Ah. Counter. Dodge. Okay. Pull. Oh, there we go. Let's go for the big hit. Cool. And this. It's a lot of fun to go for the deflex. Even if it is undoubtedly very tough. At times, depending on the enemy. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. D uh, okay. Uh. Dodge. Let's. Hmm. Mm -mm. Come on. And of course, my buff's gone too. What? Okay. Really? I don't have enough frames to actually get. Probably just didn't have enough frames to actually bring the thing up. Oh well. Okay, Blood Fiend Hexer's Ashes. It's definitely not worth it. Spirit of Bloodfiend Hexer consumes HP rather than FP. The spirit conducts blood boon rituals of the sacred spear, casts Bloodfiend Hexes, takes a singular pleasure in letting the blood of foes along ago. A subjugated tron discovered a twisted deity, presumably the foremost mother amongst the ravages of war. They were transformed into blood fiends. The mother of truth was their savior. Yep. Well, time for a Cerulean Coast then. Cool. I... Deflect here is fun, but it is a gimmick. Rather definitionally a gimmick. So right, gotta remember to get Theodorx's Magma, the final Dragon Convenience spell. Oh well. 
Yep, because we killed Theodorix in Consecrated Snowfield. Transforms Caster into a Great Worm. Worm, Great Worm. To spew Scar to spew a large volume of magma breath. Oh, it's one follow-up attack. Spear incantation. Power of the Great Worm Theodorix, the name of the ancient troll where Theodorix was on as a hero of the war against the giants, because transformed into Dragon. To a magma worm. By eating too many dragon hearts. Classic. Okay. Uh, yeah, it. Rune arcs were fun, but not that I really need lightning sp spear anyway. I mean, bolt of grand sacks anyway. I'll live. It would be nice to have it, but very plainly, it does not appear like I can manage given how much I'm dying in the DLC. What is this? This is. Well, for one, I gotta hop off to reposition Greater Potentate's Cookbook. That's Hefty Rock Pot. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's fun. That craftable item using a prepared using a capacious crack pot filled the brim to the brim with crushed rocks. Nothing clever about it. Throw out enemies to inflict heavy damage. Yeah. It's funny, though. Just want to see if I went the other way down. But it, honestly, there's something liberating about this. It means I don't have to worry as much about dying now. So that was what was really annoying about dying, just losing a rune arc. And therefore, a lot of strength, but... I guess I should put Blessing's Boon back on to replace Blessing of the Urge Tree, because I'm back to not being able to use it. Whatever. Come on, come on. Hmm. Get down here then. Oh, lots of the gray birds there. That would still kill me. Okay. I think putting this on would be a good option here. Can I? That is still heavy load. That's the difference made by the. Rune Arc. Oh well. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. One, two. Good for that sweep. What else is around here at the bottom, if anything? Come on. Fly mold. Okay. More flies. Okay. Rush in. Slam. Thank you. Hmm. This is nothing of note other than round rock. Oh, well, it you don't go through the waterfall, but you can sort of go perpendicular to the spring this way. Okay. Slam. Slam. All right. Slam. Slam. Hmm. Let's put all this down here. Wait, eventually we'll be out on the other side and get to the coast, which will be quite nice. Should be pretty. Mm -hmm. Fly there, we can use the corpses to more or less tell where we've been. So, great bird time. Over there. See you. Let's. Yep. And that's a kill. Thankfully, the rune arc does not make a difference there. But, I'm trying to tell which ones are actual enemies and which ones are statues is harder than I might like. Something just fell, evidently. I wonder what that was. Okay, so let's keep on going. Let us out. And I wonder how many dungeons might be around. Oh, there you are. Hi, I. Oh, my goodness. Not good. 
Alright. You are... Fuck all your melee only, no ghost flame. Good stuff. Yeah, go ahead, suffer. And it... It's gonna be nice to get that map. That's all I'm gonna say. But it is quite cool how... Oftentimes, they send you up against the edge of what's visible on the map in a way that the game does not usually do. Other than with consecrated, I mean, mountaintops of the giants. Mm -hmm. So to backtrack and get under there, we'll see. Clearly. That's gonna be a way down, I think. Maybe. First off, down. But what if I went this way instead? What might be here? It does not seem like much. But I would imagine I can get down there from here, too. Hmm. But. Seem to be limits. On how I can get back up, or what, which way I can go. So let's go down here first. Come on. Come on. Okay. So, let's keep on going. I'm gonna not backtrack, but get back this way and... Wait. Giant crayfish. Okay. No hat now. Fine. Sneak up on you? No reason not to buff. Okay. Oh, it's a red-eyed. That's freaky. Come on. Charge this up. Slam. I Dodge. Some... Ooh, okay. Some blood loss and that... There we- oh, big. Is that because we hit the belly or because a blood loss? Maybe both. Somberstone, uh... Anything else here or... No, not really. Got to kill a lobster. But hold done, yeah, just... Nothing of serious note. Alright. Yeah. But really, just as long as we have the stats to cast. The important buffs. Gotten to the point where rune arcs are not as impactful. As most stats have hit the point of diminishing returns one way or the other. So. This goes down to. Hmm, can't really get back up. Oh, is that a furnace golem? It certainly looks like it. Exciting. Hmm. Have a side of grace, which is nice. Anything here, or... I guess it was probably just that one single waterfall cave with... The turtle talisman. Beast bones. Okay. Hmm. Also, it just surprised me how difficult the Death Knight and the Chief Bloodfiend were. That there are a lot fewer dungeons, but bosses are a lot more unique as a result. I like River Downstream. Hmm. We should be getting close to the coast, but I wonder where the map is. Hello. I was once told the coffin could convey its passenger upon a gentle cruise to the velvet garden of deepest purple. But to slumber in such a paradise. That would be... Stone Coffin Fissure with St. Trina. Hmm. It's a round rock. So to get farther... Farther down... Should be a stairwell, more or less. Hello. Hmm. Gone most of the way then. Stuff. Okay. Hmm. 
crush that, I suppose. Big old waterfall. Come on, come on. Ooh. Get over there. Precious item ahead. Seek on the brink. Hmm. So I should go this way and go left first and then go right? Maybe. Actually, where does this head? No, we can't use that to get back up, it seems. That's fine. Come on, I- Oh, okay. Didn't let me jump? So I didn't have a run arc. Some nonsense. Okay. Back to y'all, let's change out my spells. Hmm. How much does. Knight's Lightning Spear takes. 36 intelligence, so actually be able to use that once I pick it up. So for now, I guess I'll just put Lightning Spear back on. Sure. Then, of course, just normal Blessing's Boon. That is meaningfully worse, but in the end, it... The health bus spells don't really do much for me in the first place. It is what it is. They're there for, I don't know, just some backup. Okay. Grab this. And try not to miss the jump this time. Thank you. Something on the brink and, oh, hello. Clearly we need to hit that. Let's see. What kind of... Spell do I want to use? I'm a bit more up. Come on. Oh. Mm -mm. Please, please. Oh. I guess I just need to use an actual bow for this. That's sad. Do I have a, a short bow in? Should. Okay, we'll take our crap arrows out just to shoot that down. Okay. Should be another cookbook. Oh, they're all around. Guess we could keep that on just because when I'm using Verdon stuff, Verdon's rain, I'm using the Verdon. Spears, anyway. It's a bit down from part of the plane. Could I even get up there at all? Wait. That is... Now, this is just underneath. Period. I think. Honestly, a little confusing. Huh. Go pick up that item real quick. Thank you. Get another recipe. That'll be nice. Thank you, thank you. That's the mushroom sour's bell bearing. Okay. That's fun. Toxic mushroom and white flesh mushroom of a horn scent mushroom salt where we did not survive the war. It's kinda sad. Hmm. In that case, let's check out the other route down. Is there any item I missed or anything? Probably not, but I've always got to check. Mm -hmm. Put our light back on. Thank you. And we fell off and no horse was summoned. Okay. Down this way then. And, and, well, 
Hmm. Okay, so there wasn't anything. That's alright. That's okay. Should let me out in the coast, but I do want to mark this ledge so that I can know to try to check, see what's on top of it later. And I inevitably get around the other side. Hello there. Ooh, okay. Hit! And hit! Nice! Good blood loss. Thank you. Crab eggs. Got the rest. Hmm. Some sheep. But again, I just wonder where the map is going to be. Let's see a fragment around this area. Maybe, just maybe, the point is to get you to do a good amount of mapless exploration, but still. Wonder where the next set of grace would be, too. Let's get backhand void back on. Take out this big sheep. Hello. Thanks. Okay. I. Oh! You lived for one more hit than I expected you to. So then, yeah, where is the next set of grace going to be? Oh, it's more Forger Brood. Hello. Hi there. Forger Brood Cookbook 3. That lightning proof pickle liver. Okay. It's just better liver. Hmm. This might be. Also, Abyssal Woods, I think it is. Pickle the liver. That's 25%, which is not as good as Golden Lightning Fortification. Hmm. It's not even good as. Also, Dragon's Pit is down there. Seems, but that actually seems to be Abyssal Wood, so I guess it's layered over. Interesting. Very, very vertical. Huh. So, try this out. I think that Death's Poker is going to be a good option for taking down the giant Furnace Golems. How big is that one? You are rolling. Rolling. Can I stop you somehow? Or... I get the feeling I should try. Rolling that fast. You're hard to catch. I bet there's something to get by catching you. Or not. Come on. Ah. Oh. Sure coming in my direction. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's just try to intercept you with the swords then, maybe. And stop you, we can... Or... Okay, now you're stopping, are you? Or... What are you going to drop? If anything. Ugh. Annoying. Would I be able to... A bow would honestly be the best option. Just line myself up and try that then. Just shoot at you with Radon's Grey Bow. Come on. Coming over this way and... Fun. That worked. And this rolling sheep that never stops. What's gonna happen? Come on. Eventually, lightning strikes will kill you, but. Oh, well. Never mind. Huh. 
weird. Mm -hmm. Well, he got hit. Any drop? There was no special drop. It's actually really saddening. Okay. Well, take down that furnace golem. Well, oh, lightning perfume bottle is right there. Well, that's funky. Yeah, same description. Basically, attacks release perfume powder, producing lightning. It's got dexterity and faith. Scaling both, not just dexterity. The fire one. It's interesting that the fire one doesn't have any... Lightning, that the fire one doesn't have any strength scaling, but... The entire point was a pure deck scale fire weapon. So... Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Hmm. This just should still be somewhat useful. Maybe. Oh, that's the giant dragon from Charo's Hidden Grave. Which... Gets you eventually, I suppose. Oh well. I did not in- WHAT?! Wow. Okay. Huh. Hmm. So where's the map? And where is... Another Grace? This is... Cerulean Coast. That much is known for certain. Another furnace golem. I don't know if that's the one that it's knocked down or not. Well, the one, as in the one that you have to throw pots in from on top. Either way, we should take out the desk poker. Because it should be... I don't think they patched it. Originally, is a really good option for just rapidly dealing damage instances to its foot to knock it down. Okay. And we can use it. Not particularly high requirements. Not using it for its damage, just for its knockdown. So, let's go for it. Maybe. I'll... Work my way down. Mm -hmm. Crab over there, which means I guess we'll put arm back on. That's fine. This will crag boy this. Does make it look a bit like an axe, which is fun. There's runes back. I think this one can go down. Okay. And the bottle lost gotcha. Thanks. Let's keep moving. Cool, cool, cool. And move over to I wonder where the next cave is going to be. Let's see what happens. Either way we can get my runes back and Kill another sheep. Presumably. Give me. Give me this. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Kill the sheep. Good stuff. That went a bit farther than I expected. So suppose order of business now is... Buff up a bit. Flame Protect Me might be useful here. Still no underground. Expect Dragon. Beautiful. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's put on Poker and the Hammer. That would be still medium. That's good. Oh, please. I oh, come on. What? Okay. Okay. We gotta go right for them. Gotta go right for the golem, and that means putting... 
Something with fire resistance back on. Let's get our flame protect me back on. Okay. That should make its fire attacks not meaningless, but a lot easier to deal with. Alright. Deflect here is still on. That shouldn't make a huge difference, though. Alright. Alright. Keep on moving. Get those runes back. Buff up. Take out. Furnace Golem. Yeah. Okay. Jagged Peak is right there. And the moon right next to it, it seems. Hmm. Well then. Find some stuff. Why not slam the hammer down? Either way, we need to keep our distance. Should we don't just get killed? And is he gonna start stomping or hmm. Those aren't aimed at me, which is good. We buff up now. Oh baby. Okay. Blessings boon. Golden vow. Flame protect me. I, okay. Come on. Come on. Heal. Now, Ghost Flame Ignition should hopefully be our best way to take stuff down. I think. Okay, and oh, alright. Not if we stuck there, right? Dodge! Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Stomp. Get you. Hmm. I think they might have nerfed it to make the stance damage work a bit more like other stance damage. So this might be pest guns again. Fair. Okay, we knocked you down. Alright. Jump. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Could I jump that? Did I just mistime it? Who knows. This does seem like a good option, but... Hmm, you never... What? Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be best of Okay. Do a lot of hits. Through the leg geometry. Alright. That was a good try. Not you, but... Funny string attack. Okay. Flas, honestly, wonder if stance boost wouldn't help here? Maybe. Let's see, we can take this off. Put on something, hopefully. Yeah. Can't put that on. My stuff back, buff back up. Try this all again. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Furnace Golems are, to my knowledge, rather weak to holy damage, so. Let's see how this goes. Luckily, I'm closer, which should hopefully mean not having to deal as much with. I'm gonna run past it to get my runes back. If I really wanted to, I suppose old lords could maybe be useful here. I don't know. I really don't know. Alright. Alright. Time for the threads. Pass you. Pass you. Thank you. Cool. I oh, we're in the wrong number of hands, really. Okay. Dot. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Hate you. Hate you. Okay, nice. 
Got one smack. This is a good way to manage it. Assuming that we can jump that decently. Nice. Go ahead, fall down. It's a good way to break stance. Dodge by jumping. And another or hmm. Hopefully do it. Or not? Really? Okay. Hmm. I wonder how I'm supposed to do that exactly. Whatever. Really? Okay. Huh. But the damage it deals is actually good too. Also decent just for damage. But I come on. Make sure you stay close. There we are! Okay, cool. Let's go over and... Massive holy damage. One. Two. This should be good. Let's buff back up while you get back up. Golden bow. Flame protect me. And the threads. Okay. So we're getting far away. My, and then jumping. Okay, good. Thank you. I dodge. Mm -hmm. Make sure the threads do it. Hopefully. Nice. Just keep breaking your stance and damaging you too. Ideally. Again, this is just good damage too. So Billy just totally shred. Oh, I didn't need to jump that. Luckily, we have a lot of fire resistance. The effect of that is rather limited, thankfully. Thanks. Cool. Dodge. Okay. Go ahead. Dodge. Let me get that final hit. Nice. Cool. We haven't fallen yet. Just keep hidden. Thanks. And another or thanks. I might just kill you outright. Good chance of it, really. And yeah, it just kills it. That's so it's too good. Or actually, no. One more hit. That kills it. Goodbye. And the tier. One first visage and a Viridian hidden tier. It's an interesting option item because it eliminates all stamina consumption. Even will quickly expire. Alright, well. It's tyranny is over. Let's go back and. Anything we gotta kill there? Not really. I do like killing crabs. It's not like it's crucial. Hmm. Keep on moving over this way to the actual coast. Anything of note that does not respawn in my way, I kill. That's how it goes. Is there a spirit spring here, or. Not entirely sure what I'm seeing. Hmm. Oh, alright. Seems, no, not map. It's definitely the way forward, though. I suppose really more the way west. Whatever it means. Come on. Oh, I... Oh, the furnace golem killed them. By just spitting fire around. Long before I got to them. That's funny. I'm going go on that dragon wing. Eventually, I bet. Come on, just give me a map. I have to be able to see where I'm going. But it is cool. Mapless exploration is cool. Anytime you just have to navigate, and yep, our reward is beautiful blue. Or just view ahead. Dung ahead, but visions of tranquility. 
Here we are, Cerulean Coast. That's fun, and we got all these coffin ships here finally striking ahead. It is quite striking. It's grace discovered, and... But no, really, where is my map? Hmm. It's this side of grace. Cerulean Coast. We switch this out for something more multi-purpose. Cool. Mm -mm. Pretty flowers. I believe it's down around this way to Putrescent Night. Putrescent Night, I definitely want to fight using Deflex, if at all possible. Here's Selvin. More Shadow Undead, okay. Put our blades back on. Is that a, an Ash of War Scarab, or what do I hear? Hmm. Presumably we can loop back around this way from around here, maybe? You never know. Well, well then. Something is plainly sparkling. Yeah, twinkling sound. Okay, dog. Oh, come on. Dogs are an order of magnitude more durable than their masters, which is funny. Okay. Keep on cutting you up. Your black blood. Deep purple wheeling. Ah, oh, because of Trina. Deep purple water lily that is on the verge of wilting. Time we get one of those somewhere. Materials for crafting items glows in the blue flower flower field of the coast like a syrupy poison. Its nectar wills the imbiber in a sweet velvety sleep. Hmm. Here's something. And I don't know where it is. It's very plain like the noise. An Ash of War Scarab makes. I'm trying to lock on, but. Do you just have to find it by sound, or is it up top? I would imagine that it might be a matter of it being on a ledge that, that I can't currently reach. Hearing something just vaguely out of sight. So, in that case. Keep on moving. You are a small animal. You can live. Small animals will be spared today. Oh, so we can go up on top of the coffin ship. Cool. This is it's a grave love or dog. What do they even mean by that? Who knows? Well, around these coffins. Oh, a grave cricket in that. It's like a face or an ear. Cricket that produces a raspy cry. Material used for crafting items mainly found near stone coffins. The sound of these crickets is often taken to be the rustling of the restless dead or sometimes the sound of their calling voices. Huh. It really is just... What am I hearing? Sorry, you weren't fast enough. If I check up top... I know that there's one more of those ghost flame dragons here on the coast. And then one over in Shadow Altus, I believe. That said, all you really get are dragon hearts, which I have more than enough of already. No real need for more. Okay, so down there seems to be the map. Honestly, I think I'll just go and run for the map so I can know where I'm going at least the mapless exploration was fun but now that I can know where it is no interest oh hello ghost swim dragon but you overshot me and now I'm not here let's just put on sacred order stuff and now we can take you out without much trouble let's, let's just do that Blessings Boon. Golden Vow. Protection. Oh well. It's 
some dragon. I. Oh, wow. All right. Not great. How do I want to... There we have it. Now we can put Sacred Order on. Oh, okay. What did you just hit? Sacred Order. No, Sacred Blade. Okay, hmm. I... Alright, thanks. I... Where's the head? Either way, we got this on, which means... Oh my goodness. Lots of damage. Oh, Oh, I... Can I... Hit the head, or... Ah, stupid. Okay. You're actually really, really tough. Don't like that. Can I... Good damage. I... Oh, that's right. Wrong number. Hands. Wrong number of hands. We need sacred order now. Okay. Do I have that buff up, or... I can't tell. Well, okay. Big thing is... Barrier gold is what I want with this. This is the magic damage, and I can use that now. I just put it back on now. Okay. Well, there's our answer, I suppose. Put on barrier gold. Magic is now not really a problem. Right? Oh, you stay there. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Go and get those runes back and honestly just get the map and then take you on. It's just they're so decayed. It's not that they have feathers, it's that their flesh is so rotten that it kind of looks like feathers. That's crazy. Tattered flesh. Well, I don't have to fight you. I will. I want that map first. It'll also be the Jagged Peak map, too. Which is nice. Okay. Map Southern Shore. And wow, they... It does not stop paying attention to me, huh? Now it has. Map of the southern shore at Gripsite Point, a captivating vista of brilliant blue flowers intermingled with the colossal stone coffins of unknown origin seemingly drifted to this place. To the east, the jagged peak thrusts upward into the clouds. Over there, we can just barely see it. Alright. Oh, interesting. Where we came from, so to get on top to the second level, that's the question. Got a lot of things. Dragon's Pit Terminus, so this is Dragon Peak, and then Finger Ruins under here. Interesting. Kind of an empty area, but this is more Abyssal Woods, presumably. Found a good deal of it. But this, I believe, that's the Stone Coffin Fissure. I think we'll leave that as long as we can, honestly. Hmm. Charo's hidden grave is somewhere around here. We'll get to that. So let's TP back. Found a decent amount of the place, though. It helps that crazy amount was revealed by just that one map. For a lot of it is because Jagged Peak is presumably a bit like Mountaintops of the Giants and that. It's not as big as it looks. Well, let's kill that dragon. It's there. Oh, but teleporting out. No, it didn't respawn, it just had to load in. It didn't despawn, it just had to load in. Okay. Well, let's buff up. Sings Boon. Golden Vow. Here are gold. Grail. Okay. Increase its attack and its defense. Getting under it would be the best way to get that off. Make this happen. Hello there. Hi. And 
Okay, that did hit. I was worried. Sacred Order. Don't need to two-hand this. Like, we can't afford to two-hand it. Thank you. Oh my- Oh, wow. That is truly ridiculous. Let's go for the head, then. And I- Oh, well, I- Buffed up like an idiot. Okay. Come on. Please. I mean, I change hands like an idiot. I shouldn't have been... Okay, either way, we're at good position. Should be. Yeah, I... This is really, really ridiculous. Okay, come on. Let's hit. Hit. And one more. It's that simple. Anti-undead buffs really are crazy. Okay, go ahead. Try to kill me. I did not expect a bunch of skeletons here. Dragon Heart and a somber stone. Okay. Alright, die. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Sacred Order's good. Thank you, goodbye. How many more are there? Is that the entirety of the grave? I don't see much of anybody or anything. <laughs> Something's underneath. Grave Cricket. Smithing Stone. Honestly. Let's go back and just get one level first. That's fine. True that I don't miss anything, especially since it'll be a decent amount of time until there's a weapon I actually want to level up again. First level in a while. Hmm. In that case... Let's go for deck, sure. Honestly, mind. Go for mind. Okay. Hmm. Well, it... Call it freedom. That dragon's dead. So the question is, which way do I go? I could honestly make a beeline right for the fissure and just... Eliminate the putrescent knight. It's honestly appealing to me. Finger ruins are... Rather... Barren, too. Not really much in there. Well, put the blades back on. Helmet back on. Not using the hammer at the moment. Oh, but also, presumably... Actually, Putrescent Knight, I'd want Barrier Ghoul for that. Be some time until we actually have to fight anything of real note again, I think. Okay, come on. Continue our funny sword dance. Cool. Slash. That is magic damage. But barrier gold would honestly be overkill there. I really do wonder, though, how well Deflect here would do in Putrescent Fight. Not really familiar with it yet, but seen some video, but of course not fought it myself. Let's send a bit of that coffin. Let's use this as our rough sort of westward marker for now. Especially since the Hidden Grave region over here is going to be kind of tough. Okay. Well, we'll see. Try this out. Thank you. Cool. Mm-hmm. How then... How then? Nothing seems to be around. A couple of rata fruit. Should be where the undead start popping up. I don't imagine their spawns were just tied to the ghost swim dragon, so. Thank you. Keep on cutting. Oh, there was another sorceress type. Okay. Cool. I hear twinkling. Maybe it's up in the hidden grave area. It would make some sense. Let's check around here then before moving onward. 
Okay, okay. Also, when we reach the St. Trina's Garden area anyway, I'm going to, act to have to actively die to progress the quest in the first place. So it's good that I'm no longer relying on items that dissipate when I die. Okay. This is where we were before. Let's move on. Take out skeletons. I hear somebody. Oh, hello. Hi there. It'd be real nice if we had one of those pot bears for a shadow tree fragment. Whatever. And we're using magic. You were trying to use magic. Yeah, you were. Okay. Let's put our hammer back on for those undead. Keep on moving past where we found that ghost dragon. This down here. Can I go up that, or is this sort of a ledge drop off? <laughs> this is going to be the way down to another fight. A real boss fight with a remembrance. Haven't fought. What a remembrance boss I've fought so far has been. The Devon Beast Dancing Lion. It. I feel like there should be undead popping up around here. Maybe. Hmm. How do I make this happen? Not more shadow undead, but we'll be okay. Thing is, I wonder how I get over to that little isolated island. Much to think about. One over there. Hmm. I guess it is possible that the twinkling sound is. Just the flowers. Who really knows? Not me. Okay. New smacking these shadow undead. There might be a remembrance coffin somewhere around here, but it's not as if there's anything in particular that I want to duplicate at the moment. So I think we'll simply keep on moving. See if any of the real undead, the skeleton spawn, that is, and then take them out. I'm moving until we get to Petrescent, who is weak to holy. So, hammer, this hammer combined with guard counters, especially since this weapon has specifically has strong guard counters, have a gold breaker effect. See how things go. Can deflect and guard counter fall up timing is not incredibly generous. But I should still hopefully be able to wait and see if we get a follow up before I actually slam it back down. It would help me avoid over committing and getting smacked. Said it deals a lot of magic damage, which means barrier of gold should help me out significantly in the fight. It said the question be, okay, after that, do I use Great Jar or do I use Great Shield Talisman? Honestly, probably Great Shield Talisman. It is not good. Most of the time. So over there, it's not even a fall I can survive dropping down. Guess it's just an overlook period. Okay. Anything else? Anything in here? Not really. Can't even fit through it. Alright. Ooh, another deep purple lily. Good stuff. Hmm. Yeah, but that definitely has to be reached from over here. I think. I presume. But from the blue coast to the red coast. Hmm. Again, much to think about. How well, then? Okay, so we're just skulking about. Okay. 
Suit yourself. How many more and where? But it does seem like that group of undead is just gone and gone. Is it interesting? Oh, hello. Oh, please. Have mercy. Come on. Okay. Can we have cricket? So we can blessings boon it up. Bought it. Skeletal undead. I guess that their spawn was connected to... Weird. Huh. Their spawn was connected to the death of a Ghost Limb Dragon, and now that Ghost Limb is Dragon is dead, they're gone? What gives, really? Huh. Keep on moving around. That can't blade. Some more of the spirit eels so we can chop them up, I suppose. Thanks. Oh, and they are noticeably a bit stronger. I don't think it was just the lack of a rune arc making that difference. Took a few more hits to go down. So, oh, it's noticeably a lot darker here. At least a little. I, I feel like that has to have something to do with it. The fact that Putrescent is nearby? Maybe. Come on. Dodge through that. Shut up. Okay. Now where Starlight is gone, let's fix that problem. Hmm. You no, know, maybe I could make that jump. I guess not. I'll trust that message. So. If I'm moving. And. Hmm. That's where the map was. Should link us back around. Ruins might be over there? Maybe. Hopefully there will be another set of grace. Because again, where Stone Coffin Fissure is, we'll be able to fight Putrescent. Okay. Let's cut up, cut up. Continue hitting both so I can prevent retaliation. Cool. Lovely stuff. Okay. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Slash, 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 slash. Cool. Do I? This loops back around. This passage is clearly made of something. Oh, well. Dragon is over there. I really do wonder as to the origin of the little twinkling sound. Hmm. Hopefully, there'll be a side of race at the terminus of that narrow passage. But again, it's sort of a. How would you tell? Take out the Shadow Undead, nice and fast. Run around that. This homing is weak. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, we got another crossover there. That's fun. May as well pick that up now. Hello. Hello. But imagine there should be at least one more dungeon in the area. At least one dungeon in the ghost. But as to where is another question. Hmm. Well, we can just keep on moving. Get some of these. Second thought those were dew gems. Which wouldn't even make sense. Whatever. So Where am I trying to go? What is this tree? Let's mark that. Yes, this should be... Maybe the finger ruins, I presume. But that won't do anything until we get... Meteor's... Quest. Oh, here's a side of grace. Okay. 
No one around here, or... This is... Shadow Tree Fragment, Touch the Cross. Carve words to us, I've been here my doubt and vacillation. Nectar Blood Virgin. A young shoot, heavy with a velvety purple nectar. Exceedingly rare to find. Set a virgin forth with a nectar like blood of abandoned Trina pooled. Abandoned Trina. It's Mikola. Abandoned St. Trina. Cerulean Coast Cross. CCC. It's pinions. Oh, so that. Is that snow? By the way, there are a lot of finger creepers. Interesting. Bloodflame would take them out rather capably then. Hmm. Two are working our way around and down. Can't find it. Oh, we got some of those ball lightning enemies. Hmm. That narrow passage. Maybe it exists just to be way back if you take a drop down, maybe. I don't know. Two, three. Oh, that one does five. It's different. In a scary kind of way. Huh. Well then. Okay. Alright. Some mods add something like that, or... The ability to summon a wisp like that is a spell. It's a cool idea. Sun here. Probably just another glove wart. Yeah, which makes sense because of their offerings for the dead. Oh, interesting. So it seems we can cross that gap. Zoom we whip around to get back here. There, there's a another coffin ship. Hmm. I don't want to go there right now, maybe? Question is if and how I can get back. Keep on moving. Down here on this ledge with the birds. Nothing much over here. Okay. Oh, look at This here is. Huh. Seems to just be sort of the drop down corner with a bunch of finger creepers. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Does not appear that I can actually make it back from this way. Try to drop down. No, I can, but it takes some finagling. Continue our poking around. Hmm. Jump across here or so, presumably. Here we are, and let's see what's up with this tree, maybe. Huh. Coffin ship. We're there, I haven't really gone there yet. That's where the fissure is. It's going to be under one of these trees, if anything. This is some item. Ah, oh, St. Trina's Disciples Cookbook. Eternal Sleep Pot. Record of crafting techniques left by a disciple who pursued the teachings of the Saint of Sleep. It would seem a gentle sleep at first ripened into velvet. Apparently, that's supposed to be bad. Craftable item prepared using a virtual pot enchanted by the incantations of St. Trina. Seems that P throughout enemy scouts build up of eternal sleep. The weaker powers to resist this velvety sleep will never be roused again. Hmm. Sinister. That. What is. Huh? Oh, it's Cemetery Shade. Okay. Interesting. Not expect that. Funky grab attack you got there. Okay, I. Never mind. That's. It's a decent enough option on you. Continue firing sacred blades until you die. Okay, goodbye. Can drop anything? No. Okay. It's interesting seeing those guys as just normal enemies. There was one in Gelmir Hero's Grave, but it. 
Well, for one, I knew it would be there. Because I've been kind of spoiled into it. It's close enough that it didn't do that. Funky attack. That funky attack was a funky attack. Hmm. Couple of coffin ships. One over here that's going to lead down. I wonder how I'd get on that one, though. Probably not really much of a way back. Could go down from the west to get there, presumably. So I just need to make a second trip after going down this time. It's fun, I suppose. Flush mushroom. Keep on moving. I really just... Wish I could get a few more shadow tree fragments. But, seemingly tis not to be. Or just something from here other than... Glove warts that I don't need or use. Oh well. Don't look a gift glove wart in the mouth, I suppose. Oh, but... Can probably get up there from... Below? Maybe... Maybe it's just a drop down? Either way, it's... Not going to really be anything I really need. Okay, so one great ghost glove wart. Great, 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 grave glove wart. Okay. Hmm. But... Not reaching that coffin ship from here. So sad. Actually, I think... So you can climb back up. It seems to be a path. I use that path. It'll maybe work. Lord knows. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Gone down to this white sand beach. Weirdly, pale sky. Definitely get back up through here, I think. It's probably just reading, leading to the finger runs. But yep, this is just the way back. Okay. Continue on our merry way. Do want to see if I can get up on top of that other coffin ship, but it's it's just glove warts. It's interesting that this area basically seems to be a glove wart area more or less. But okay, so to get up there, I'm just gonna have to drop down from above. It seems get a. Rather useless glove ward and see how that goes. Okay. Again, I definitely should be able to beat Putrescent. We'll see. Or at least reach Putrescent to try fighting it. Beating it is a different question and a different story. I wonder where a set of grace might be in. Just finger ruins. We'll see. The way of getting that other coffin ship is a nice idea. Check that out real quick. Go down into it, get another glove wart. Take on finger creepers. Gotta drop down here. There we go. Surprise that didn't just kill me. Oh, well, I actually went the wrong way. Nice. Try that again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's over here. Drop down onto the coffin ship. Here we are. Oh, and that's probably just giving me another great grave, or... Yeah, just two of them lying around, but it's just sort of... None of those are things I need much at all, really. Get some crickets. For some other funny pots. Okay. Come on. Let's put our backhand blades back on, and... Use some Blood Flame Blade to take on these Finger Creepers. Fun stuff. 
Well, my question is, where does this turn into? Bottomless pit. It'd be funny if a dungeon was hidden there. Probably a good thing there wasn't, though. Let's buff up. Blessing's Boon. Don't need Sacred Order on here. Golden Vow. Black Flame. With nothing to chance. Blood Flame Blade and... Blood Flame is to stun it, not to damage it. They're weak to slash, but fire will... Stop them in their tracks for a bit. And it's that simple. Cool. You know, swift slash would do. But of course, you do the horn sense quest, let me get that first. And it is just that simple. Fun. For them, really. Surprised they didn't drop any somber stones that time. So normally they drop somber stones. Okay, that's death. Let's go along, along the edge. What is this? Shrine of Amana. Alright, what? Oh, that was... That looked like land. Okay. Well. Alright. Things have respawned then. That's some news. Not good news. Hmm. Maybe I should be paying attention more to the map. Maybe. Well, nothing to do but continue on. I just, oh, oh, strafing is difficult. Okay, luckily, they don't even two-shot me, which it's kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of good things to be happy about, but we'll be happy about that. Come on. Okay, let's get those runes back. If at all possible. Or over there by the finger creepers. Awesome. Let's try not to die this time. Alright. Thank you. Blood flame. And there we go. Hello. I Keep on cutting. We can interrupt your charge that way. Nice. And oh, portal ass. Cool. Alright. Here you are. Hi then. Slash, 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 slash. Slash. Good stuff. Okay. And what else is interesting here? The enemies have a lot more HP, which means that percentile wise, blood loss is a big amount of damage, but. The base addition of damage from Border Loss isn't doing much. I- WHAT?! The lighting there is horrible. It's so tough to tell. Again, it's- I don't need to go up against the edge. It's a bad idea to go up against the edge. But it- I want to travel every piece of ground. With my own four horse feet. Okay. Gotta go at a slight diagonal. All I gotta do is not fall off. Apparently much easier said than done. Alright. Hmm. Stay far and away enough from the edge that I don't die. Okay. It's nice and far away from the finger creepers. I need to worry about them then. Okay. That. Try not to fall off. Okay. The black rocks there do a decent job of marking the edge, so I can pay attention to those. Oh. Okay. Let's buff back up. Kill the finger creepers. Big and small. They were finger creepers, and I slaughtered them like finger creepers. Mm hmm. What well, that is over there? Thanks. Dodge that. Move on in. Slash. 
Nice. We traded a little, but that's okay. And there we go. Cool. Slash. There we are. The fact that they take damage over time from being set on fire is real fun. But I wonder what determines the exact size of that damage over time. Guy's burning reaction? Okay. Put our Starlight back on. Let's see a bit better. It legitimately is incredibly funny that the most useful sorcery for me has just been the one that adds light. Because nothing has really required magic damage down there. Though, to be fair, I bet I could do well something like Rykard's Rancor if I actually bothered leveling up Prince of Death Staff, which I could do now, and I probably should. Not much of a reason not to do it. My question is... Is that impassable, or... Are we going to get to the Finger Ruins and... Oh, item. Hello. Ten arrows. I feel so good about myself. Hmm. Keep moving along the shoreline. Clearly, what we're looking at right now is this ledge. Get up to the Finger Ruins and... Again, it's mostly barren, but maybe we'll find something. Maybe. Probably not. Hmm. See what might be at the edge. And Oh, lag spike. Because we're about to see something spectacular, maybe. It's loading, I would presume. Hello. He just jumped over me. Awesome. Maybe try to be a bit more accurate. Oh, there's a big one, which means let's buff up. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit of everything. Blood point blade. Okay. Chop you down. Get a bit of a jump on you. And there we go. Goodbye. Okay. Nothing dropped, nothing drops. Guess maybe it's only the ones that spawn in the overworld instead of Land of Shadow that drops somber stones. It's possible. Oh look, another one. Hello. Roll. Maybe I should use a strong attack. Ah, the, the Can you just fall off the edge, maybe? Never mind. It'd be funny if we get you scuttle so far you just fell to your death. Hmm. Going along the edge until we find an item, maybe? Something. The hand from the Adams family? Do you personally identify with Wednesday Adams? Shadow Realm Rune. Blessing's Boon. Golden Vow. Black Flame's Protection. Blood Flame Blade. I went too far. Okay. That, Blood Flame. Thank you. Cool. Charge this up for a nice big slash. For a second, I thought that might have sent me far enough to actually get hit by the grab. It didn't. Not pale and goth enough. Fair. I saw I saw someone tweet once, relatively recently. So not really once, just as in tweet relatively recently. That going, for, that growing up as a woman is realizing that eventually you have to start padding your personality after Morticia instead of Wednesday, or at least for a certain kind of woman. Okay. Thoughts, comments. Concerns. Mm -hmm. I'm moving. Should be where those finger runes are again. Not much. Oh, oh, there was one there too. Hello. 
Let's just put on board Flame Boy then and... Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on. I... Dodge. Let's light you on fire. Come on. Blood. Blood loss. There we go. Cool. I didn't want to say it myself. I, feel like, I, I felt like it could have been construed as somewhat mean-spirited. Oh, so wait. Go up on this edge. Where will this take me? Anywhere, anything special? Not wolf enough. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's, it's enough of a cultural phenomenon in English-speaking regions. Of which Italy counts, I suppose. Derogatory. Another victim of American cultural dominance. Okay. Hmm. More gravestones. More eels. Six of those, okay. Oh, come on. Cut up. Oh, oh, huh. Please, please. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's a surprise. You were too busy watching Super Sentai. Got you up. There we go. Okay. Nothing from the eels. Hm. Makes me wonder. Is there a point to getting up here? I guess not. Okay. Cool. Maybe I could use this ledge as a way back down. Yeah, I can. Wait. Wait. Uh, grass. Can I... Yeah, that just kills you. Okay. Ouch. Get on that wedge and gotta teleport out or die. I'm not sure the horse can actually jump back up. Whatever. Yeah, they cast the actress for that in a new Beetlejuice movie, apparently. And they basically said that the reason they hadn't made a new Beetlejuice movie in that long is because they were waiting for her to be born. Which is a wild thing to say. Okay. So... Keep moving on down. See a big dragon corpse up there, which... I think there's another dragon corpse in a slightly connected area that is technically the biggest dragon in Souls to this day. It... Pe people are becoming increasingly aware of the fact that most Latinos are partially goth. Just inherently. They don't even have to try. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think it was at least somewhat tongue-in-cheek. Maybe. So, let's get those runes back and not die this time. That would be nice. So, I... Uh, yeah, I just have to teleport back. I, d I didn't say that you have to be Latino to be goth. I said that most Latinos are a little bit goth. Just inherently. Nature of the beast and all. Cool, cool. So we'll just move on. That was a really stupid fall. Okay. Okay. The nice thing is that we do have a map for the Dragon Mountain now. Even if it will be a bit till I really go there. Hmm. Map over here is... I think that's Abyssal Woods. Which... I think I have to get there through a long drop from Shadow Altus. Well, Shadow Altus, as the name suggests, is way hot. The Abyssal Woods are very low, but... Mm -mm. It's interesting. It is kind of funny how you start in a relatively similar geographic position relative to the rest of the map in the land of shadow as you initially do in the lands between. Just vaguely in the southwest. 
with the coastline a bit below and a bit to the south. And then, of course, they literally have an area called Shadow Altus, like the Altus Plateau, which is a bit on the nose, I suppose. It is what it is. It's the big difference is that the big mountain is in the southeast, instead of the northeast. This should be those finger ruins. All right, and just more glove warts. These are coffin ships. Basically giant floating coffins set loose and filled with the dead. Huh, this is interesting. The finger ruins of Rhea. It's very macabre. I am not sure how much there even will be for me to do here right now. Hmm. Either way, there is a boss down here. It's so underground through there. So I'll go there more or less next. Oh, we can get the Shadow Tree Blessing now. That's good. Shadow Tree Blessing empowered. We don't have enough fragments. We're a little bit stronger now, which is good. Hmm. Can't really drop down there. Let's check this out. Basically, the Finger Creepers and the Two Fingers are all ultimately descended from this weird godlike creature named Maetir, the daughter of Fingers, who looks like a weird screwed up hand. But these things are actually related to the two fingers, the DLC reveals. Because Maetir is the mother of all two fingers and finger creepers. I- oh, okay. Hmm. Slashing is good, but I- You would, you would. Uh -huh. I swear. If I end up reading Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm not sure if that would make people pipe down or just encourage them. Thank you. Hmm. Down here. It's really just barren wasteland. In the middle here, there should be a bell, I believe. But I wonder if there's going to be a set of grace that will get me any closer to it. Or not. We'll just have to ride down the entire way every time I want to get here, which, to be fair, should not be often. His fingers seem to have gold highlights to them, too. Interesting. So that leads down to the main body of it. Let's see what's over here, then. Oh, the lampreys! And who are people even talking about in reference to that? Come on. So they have their finger sorceries, which is interesting. Luckily, as long as we can move in, take them out pretty easily. Pearlescent scale. Found by hunting lamprey, a glass and glistening fragment, pearlescent hue of material used for crafting items. These retrograde scales are found embedded deep within the skin of a lamprey. Huh. Okay. I just... Did you hear about the big spoiler that people were really happy about? Hmm. Okay, there's a big one up there. Let's buff ourselves up then. Before any kind of big encounter, we may as well. Oh, that... Basically, a character came back from the dead. And people have been debating for years whether she would come back. Well, not came back from the dead, but... Basically... People thought she was dead, and then she wasn't. And oh, there were more of them? Wait, how many How many are around here? What? What is going on? Never mind. Okay, cool. Heal, heal. How many are coming up? Okay. Huh? Couldn't light you on fire? Guess there, there's a cool down to be able to light them on fire, I guess. Whatever. Come on, heal. And dodge. Cut you up. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But... 
Th there were a lot of people... A lot of people say that Gege unironically hates women. Because of... Well the, well, the funny thing about it is that his pseudonym basically means sh down, down, bad take. Down, vote, down, vote, bad take. But, so some level of trolling is probably inherent there. But, ba well, it's more that he, it's not just that, it's that he kills off all the female characters too. But I guess you could argue that and that was also an attack on that part of the audience, too, maybe. If you feel motivated to say it. Not all, just the vast majority. Hmm. So that is a Remembrance Duplication Coffin, I believe? Should be. Yep, you can duplicate remembrances here, which I don't feel like doing. Hmm. We can do that when I really need to feel like when I feel like duplicating something. Come on, get over here. There we go, and that change erupt you when you reared up that made you vulnerable. There we go. Okay, and anything, anything. Somberstone, which only showed up after it. Fully completed its death animation, too. Huh. But, I just remember that one Gojo TikTok that I saw secondhand because I don't have TikTok. No, it's just, you know, fair enough. I didn't need to see it, but fair enough. Gega's wife? Oh, I think I heard that. So, do we think that's why he killed off Gojo? Okay. Eat your sister. Eat your sister. Let's buff back up briefly. Sure. Black flame. Blood flame. Okay. Blind spot might actually be good for gap closing. Maybe? Maybe. That worked quite well, actually. Use it for a dodge combined with a good damaging hit. Thank you. Goodbye, Lamprey. The Lamprey are implied to basically be people who tried to become those finger-type creatures, actually. But they ate a little pill, and it made them either transform into the Lamprey, or the Lamprey to basically take their bodies over. Genetical... It feels vaguely racist. Wouldn't it be better to say culturally? Culturally loud? Well, because they're, cause they're crazy. Here's your answer. Well, it's because the fingers are sort of godlike creatures. So it's a desire to ascend in a sort of way. One of the gods we run into specifically wants to become a mother of fingers. It's interesting how they have a very strange movement pattern. Wait, they're abnormally loud even for Italians. It's kind of scary. Because it's just... G given how loud the, the fake Italians I've known have been, the sheer volume of a real Italian an normally loud real Italian. It sounds scary. Okay. Hmm. It's... I wonder what items might be around here. What kind of... Oh, a nail stone. Flake-like stone chart with a faint fingerprint engraving material used for crafting items found at Finger Ruins. A piece that came loose from the tip of one of the column-like stone fingers that grow at Finger Ruins. It's just such a strange place. Hmm. Luckily, horse jump helps, but... If you didn't have the horse, you just wouldn't be able to navigate the area. Hmm. Let's 
get in close, take out the Wabri. Thank you. That uh, dismounting attack is pretty useful here. Hmm. Oh well. Jump! Cut! Oh! And that's really cool. When they've got gold in their eyes, it's an. Oh, they're eight eyes. It's fun. Okay. Yep. If you're wild and you can't help it, well then, I guess you just can't help it. Come on, come on. Let's just smoke. Slash. Let's cut up. Cut up. We need healing. Okay. So where's this headed? Seems to be sort of out of the area. It's interesting. More finger creepers. Now, where are we going right now? Is this hidden grave or? It's okay. We suffer with you. Another lampering. Okay. Slash. 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 Hmm. This seems to be leading to another part of the coast. Well, going through here was an okayish idea. Then. What I? What? Is there a big? There's a big one. That sucks. Come on! Come on! Ah, stupid! Stupid! We need to run away. We need to run away. Come on! Come on! Oh! Get up here, where we can buff. Oh, there was a big finger creeper who I did not see coming. So I'm bu I ran away. I'm buffing up. I'm gonna kill it. Uh, blood flame. And. Yes, we could starlight. We're down there. Let's. Jump down! Hit! Yeah, jumping heavy. Always a good option. Thank you. Cool. Oh, no, lamp here now. Annoying. Hi, hello. Jump, slash, chop up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Not perfect, but still good. But I really was not expecting the finger ruins to lead to anything outside of it. I thought they would be entirely self-contained, because at least one of the others really is just an empty area connected to the quest line. But I guess we're looping back to the coast, which is fun. This might actually be the hidden grave. I want to see if there's a side of grace around here, hopefully. So I can turn back without having to worry about missing anything or respawning or having to go over the path again. Close to the ledges. Hmm. Yep, Abyssal Woods are down there. That's the frenzied flame area. Hmm. Yeah, just what is going on here? What is going on with here? Go up a bit and... Oh, look, more finger creepers. Great stuff. See some mushrooms over there, which are finger mimics. Interesting concept. Alright. Take you all out. Thank you, big damage from that hit. Come on, come on, come on, there we go. I wonder how many others, well, there's stuff down here. Okay. Basically puts you in prime position to be grabbed, but you can make it work. Okay, cool. Chop up before you do that attack. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the ground. So we can see. Where we have sort of fingernails poking out. Alright. Alright. Got a bit more. Slash! One, two, three, four, five, six. And it wasn't even us doing the hit, but the blood flame. Blood loss. Finger mimic. Light pink mushroom resembling a wizened finger. Material used for crafting items. Exceedingly rare to find. Used by those who wish to become fingers soon to its hallucinations. Call these mushrooms the stillborn of the two fingers. Those who wish to ascend the form of a finger. I think that was meant to be the reward for going through here, just the funny mushroom. That's alright. Okay. 
I'm not even sure they can be farmed. But... It was interesting. Starlight. Let's try to find... A grace nearby, hopefully. Some kind of shack. This is... Somebody's here, and you are. Finger Weaver's Hovel. Aha, my theory is proven true. The Finger Creepers hail from these ruins. So now must I sound this one hanging bell. The sweet cradle shall I come to be, at the bosom of the exalted mother. Hmm. Finger Weaver's Cookbook. The record of crafting techniques left by a determined student of the Finger Ruins has brushed with the sublime all that shattered his mind. But he was left capable enough to leave these few precious words acquired knowledge, craft plot, and glinting nail. That is... Let me see. Shattering Magic Nail. Nail stone with shining fingerprints floating above. Craft Wadam uses that to find a magic nail that crumbles during flight. The lampers that guard the finger runes resemble fingers far more than they do humans, and so the finger weavers imitated their sorcery. Hmm. It's pure intelligence scaling. Pretty high. Oh, but this is... Probably links back to this part of the coast. Maybe. I'm wondering where this leads to. Oh! I thought you meant that they just... Had you eat their trash like a goat. Maybe next time. What, what kind of hummus? Sounds tasty. Oh, and a bear. Okay. Huh. Let's see how we can handle you. Oh, and red bears are strong, but I... Oh, we didn't have the right number. Uh, swords out. Okay. Hefty beast bone. You know there's a big red bear somewhere. Not this one, though. Come on. Let's DPS you down. There we go. Pesto hummus and an eggplant hummus. Well, in that case, that'd be what's hummus and more baba ganoush. Presumably. Wouldn't you say? I... I've had baba ganoush a few times. I didn't like it all that much. I think some of it was that it was kind of burnt. I don't dislike eggplant, but it seems a little burnt to me. And that made things a bit weird tasting. Okay, any more bears or... I guess this is just a dead end. Though I bet you can fall down here from above, maybe. Maybe. Maybe the clearing was literally just a way to get the glinting now. I... Don't know. Doesn't appear like I can get down here from anywhere. But... What I said was, that sounds less like hummus and more like baba ganoush. Just an eggplant spread? Main thing is, this seems like a dead end, which is... surprising to me. I wonder if something might show up here eventually, but... It's a bit weird. Huh. I guess it was really just sort of go all this way and you can find... the crafting cookbook for the glinting nail. Which... is honestly pretty underwhelming as a reward, but... You take what you can get. So I suppose I'll... poke a bit more around... The finger ruins, so that when I come back here eventually for the quest, I don't know where to go and just make a beeline straight there. Maybe. That's where I found that dragon last time, too. That Jagged Peak Drake. I... I don't really think that's true, actually. I think they're mostly indifferent one way or another. Hmm... Yeah, but farming rune arcs is an immense waste of time, or at least an immense use of time. And I would rather use that time for other things, like actually exploring and fighting bosses. Especially since it doesn't make all that much difference in the long run anyway. Put our light back on. Ooh, lampreys. Hello. Let's 
two, three, four, five. Right. Oh my goodness. Dodge. I, okay. I, all right. All right. Hmm. No one. Slash, slash, slash. Okay. Get a few more stones or something. More scales. The nail stones are things I can just pick up, but... Don't really know how to recognize them by sight. Hmm. What if I got down here? Underneath that area left by the stone coffin. That's my question. But... There's a lot here. Hmm. And here, no, that was just bloodstains. This is... Horror. They say horror? Liar. Well, oh, because it's a finger mimic. It's not really a finger. That's funny. It's actually pretty funny. Okay, and the good thing is... The lampreys we killed before are going to stay dead. We can run... Around where we were. I guys see at least one more. Sort of around this way. Around this giant fingerprint whorl. It's very interesting because it gives the impression that the land itself is sort of grasped by a giant finger that left a print. Which is interesting considering the whole you have to be grasped by the three fingers to inherit the flame of frenzy and it weaves burns on you. Alright. Lamprey. Chop. Chop. Okay. Let's dodge around. So fingers. Nail sorceries. And I'm easy enough to dodge, more or less. And oh, we got hit from high. Not good. I. There we are. Cool. Oh well. Hi there. I dodge. Oh, we totally missed. Annoying. Come on, die. Okay. Let's buff back up a bit. Some healing back on. But really, what can we find here other than the finger mimics? It seems to me like the mushrooms are meant to be the reward for poking around here. If you go to the sort of extremes of the area that you get the funny finger mushrooms. Which is okay, I suppose. Well, then. This is... nothing. It's a skull. I wanted to find the nail stones. I wonder how I would do that, even. Put our starlight back on. Go back north. But... There's a cookbook, and there were lampreys. And I guess the lampreys and finger creepers are... The extent of this place's inhabitants and contents. We went around this layer so we can work our way back up. It's about a fourth to a third of the area then. This in the middle should be, I believe, where the bell will eventually be rung. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Maybe this little swirling, sort of arching area, maybe? The arch of that fingerprint? In the end, I... I don't have that many runes to burn anyway. If burning a few for more levels is nice, but that'll probably have to wait until I reach the DLC's final boss. Do that without worry. That's okay. But again, I've reached the point where more levels do not really do much for me in the way of damage. You know, I could use different spells, but even then it's just sort of, why? The main thing is unlocking certain requirements, but I've also got so much... I've got quality scaling weapons, casting tools, it would not really boost my damage output. To any extent worth worrying about. 
Which means that I don't really need Runox much anymore. And quite frankly, I probably should have stopped farming for them way earlier. But, you know, better to learn the lesson late than never. Hmm. Just got to move around here. Hmm. I really do wonder if there's anything else other than presumably that bell here. Anything at all. I guess we could kind of go in a loop around. But. Lampreys. So the finger creepers run the approach more or less. And the lampreys seem to be mostly limited. To the actual. Ground floor itself. But. Either way. This is real real cool. suppose it would be nice to have a bit more in the way of concrete reward, but sometimes it's nice to just explore. A lot of the time, actually. Whoa, hello. Jump. Slash. Take you on. Take you out. And I... Oh, well, I... Is that a finger creeper? Or a... Oh, they, they can just do a similar attack. So they're imitating this magic of the finger creepers, not just the magic of the finger guys. I oh, and then they can teleport. Okay. Cool. All right. Luckily, I just need to avoid getting struck by that weird spell then. Huh. Okay. That would be a fun thing to do ourselves. That said, I'm not sure how much sense that would even make. I okay. Come on. Uh, and what what really? Never mind. Okay. Weird. What are you even doing? Come on. I uh, move in. One, two. And if we get behind you, there are limits to how you can avoid me. I okay. Lampreys are weirdly strong. Alright. Well, I guess it makes sense as beings that are arguably semi-divine, but still. Thank you. Get a bit more reach on the strong attack anyway. So I might want to go for the heavy after the light to ensure that they don't manage to sort of sneak away as they often do. Hmm. Making sure we... Every, go over every bit, kill every Lamprey, ideally. Especially since the sides of the area at least once branched off to something at least somewhat worth getting. And I'd prefer not to miss something like that if I have the ability to not do that. Let's just loop around and see. Hmm. Come on, come on. Anything here? Again, it would be funny if that was a dungeon. For better or worse, there are a lot fewer dungeons in the DLC. Even if the dungeons did end up being a bit copy-paste, they were cool. I do miss them. Just as a way to just do some bite-sized exploration with a bit of... A little sort of mini-boss at the end. They were cool. In a weird sort of way, they honestly conformed a bit to a sort of mobile paradigm in that you get little bite-sized chunks of progress and exploration by finding a dungeon and then going through that dungeon be and beating its boss instead of just having to explore an entire huge area altogether. It does feel like the kind of thing that would fit in. A handheld type game. And not mobile, but handheld. Mm -hmm. Underneath this and... Again, I don't need the nail stones, but... I feel like I should be able to recognize them a bit better than I currently can. Just gonna loop around this big circular arc. 
Let's see what there is to see. If anything else at all. I can kind of see this pathway on the map anyway. And maybe this over here looks a bit suspicious. But I think that's just a gap rather than a weed up. I don't really imagine much more could be here, but... Killing lampreys is interesting enough of a challenge. I suppose I'd like to wipe them all out. Also because they suck, and I want them dead. Hello there. Jump. Yeah, that down, and... Oh, well, never mind. Oh, wow, you have a critical? Critical? I... I don't even know. Has the sound effect played and it got staggered, but it's... I'm not sure they have the necessary anatomy to go for a sort of vital point strike. Because, of course, they're more finger than human. Okay. By the way, we can't even ring the bell right now. We need a quest item to do it. Which we'll get later. So we get to the... We have the Cathedral of Monus Matir in talk to Count what's his name. Thank you. Slash. Thank you. Oh, but we don't have both out. It's easier to miss than I might like. Though, of course, I'm just not paying attention. Hi, hello. And cut. Slash. Cut. Thank you. Good. Hmm. Let us continue. It is interesting that they have the horn tenders in the DLC. It's slightly better versions of it. Foul feet? But you can't craft them. You can only farm them from certain enemies. And I have a way to farm the silver one, but it's not the silver one I need. It's... Well, unless I was really farming a specific item drop, which, well, I'm not. The gold one is the one that gives slightly more runes than Golden Foulfoot, and really drops from some Inquisitor-type enemy. There were some Inquisitors around an earlier part of Gravesite Plain, but I'm not exactly sure that those were the Inquisitors being referred to. Because even with some item drop boost, they weren't dropping that at all. Hello, Lamprey. Hi. Jump. Slash. 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 Second strong attack probably would have done the trick, too. Hmm. We'll see. But, I've probably said this before, but it's a good chance that the Switch 2 gets announced this week, which is really exciting. This coming week. Especially since I'm excited for the new Metroid Prime game. That's going to be a fun one. I really do love Metroid. It's just that Metroid games do not come out often enough for me to really talk about them. But it is very, very funny that... Prime 4... I believe it was originally announced for the Switch. But it's been going on for so long, they've restarted development multiple times. At least one time. That... It's almost certainly going to be... A Switch 2 launch title. And I would imagine that, just like they did with Breath of the Wild, that'll still quote-unquote come out on Switch. Like, Breath of the Wild came out on the Wii U, but it's not going to be the intended platform. Come on, come on. Thank you, I Oh, we couldn't get off? Never mind. Slash, slash, die. Mm -hmm. So we can go around this outer... Circle and then go to the inner circle, maybe. The geometry is a little treacherous, frankly. Alright. Why is it always something incredible? Is that where the lampy dropped down? Maybe. That might have been what they were referring to. Okay, okay. Our materials and what material? Okay. Nail stone. Yeah, they're kind of hard to spot. Don't quite like that. But it seems that we have a wall over here. Interesting. Walking off. Sort of. Bell ritual area. 
But once you ring the bells, once you ring all the bells, and I think there are two, like it's Dark Souls 1 or something, get the opportunity to fight Maytir. Oh, hello there. Hi. I didn't expect there to be another Finger Creeper here at all. Okay. Fire is what we need to stop you in your tracks. Rush in and out of the way. Jump. Heavy. Thanks. Thank you. Nice. Good enough. I really do love this weapon. I really do. It's a nail stone. So we work our way on the upper edge. Then after that, yeah, it's stone coffin fissure. Putrescent Knight and meeting Saint Trina. Should move Tilia over to. Doing this a bit out of order, I suppose, though to be fair. You're kind of supposed to go to Stone Coffin Fissure before Shadow Keep, but it's. Tilia moves to Shadow Altus when you. Moves. Announces that he's looking for St. Trina when you go to Shadow Altus. So that part gets skipped. But, I like doing things out of order. We'll be okay. Main thing is, nothing is being truly missed. No rewards from a quest line are being abandoned or lost. So, let us continue on our merry way. And beat up. Some more lampreys and maybe finger creepers that should be in here. Oh, look, another big finger creeper. Good stuff. Oh, okay. Didn't think you would drop down on the approach of the mimic, but... Fair enough. Hi there, hello. I... Oh, alright. Wrong way. Slash. 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 It's just so strong. There's no way I don't use this against Mesmer. Deflect here is cool, but... Frankly, it's too easy to mess up. Get some really cool fights that way, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe Rolana. Depends on how I want to fight them. Since Mesmer is... Well, to be fair, actually... I probably want to fight Mesmer Serpent Hunter for the meme. And for the sake of the quest, I'd also probably be fighting him with horn scent. Much to think about. That another finger creeper, or... Yep, hello. Let's get our blood flame back on. Hello there. Hi. Oh. What is gonna make you drop down? That's gonna make you drop down. Okay. Slush and... Uh, we had to train again, whatever. Okay. Oh, please. It's portal us. I. What you gonna do? I. Well, I. That was almost death. Wow. I should have. Boosted. My defense is for that. Oh well. The main thing is that we didn't die. It's a, it's a true to a true out two true outcomes sort of thing. You either die or you don't. You either die or the other guy dies. Either way, I believe this is the right spot. Go around, get inside that wall. Check out that bell that we can't interact with right now. Fair enough. Assume we have a few more lampers in here. Probably. Hmm. I think this is about where we got to. On the other side, I should have marked it, but again, hindsight is 2020. Oh, let's cross the threshold. So got our light on and not even sure there are really lampreys around here. Go around the outer circle and then inside this group of fingers. Should be good, why not buff up? No harm in it. 
Though to be heard, Black Flame's Protection isn't going to do all that much here. So we could go with... Rude Tree Prot? No, actually, we do have Barrier of Gold out. That's right. Yeah. Because I kept it on because I'd be fighting Putrescent later anyway, who is... Magic damage all the way. Alright. Hmm. Sure we got both. And a lot of these skulls got runes in them. Maybe they have more of those drop in areas that are more barren. To ensure that it's not totally pointless to go and be there. Again, it's... I was not in the room when these decisions were being made. To be a fly on the wall in the from soft development room. Come on. Another dead Lamprey. And I, oh, well. Another living Lamprey. Okay. Can I totally miss, I guess? Luckily, they are easy enough to stagger. Okay. So. Keep on flicking the lock button to ensure that if anything is there, we'll find it. Mm -mm. So we're getting back around to that part of that circle. More or less good to go. Around that wall. Okay. Mm -mm. Go back to the stone coffin fissure. Take out Putrescent. That'll be a nice way to finish things out. That said, stone coffin fissure isn't just a straight shot to the Putrescent fight. There's a bit more I'll have to go through, presumably. We'll see how it all shakes out. Wonder what enemies would be in there. But of course, the main thing is, of course. It's a bit, it's Decently weak to holy damage. I think also to fire damage, maybe slightly less. But apparently also... Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike is apparently good against it, but I wonder if that's due to its... Hitbox being weird or something? It's not an especially amazing spell from what I saw. But maybe in a pinch I could try something like Burn Oak Lane. But... Here we are, no lampreys immediately here, and we cannot ring the bell. Pickle, but out of stamina. Oh my goodness, that's... <laughs> I don't like it, but it's funny. Or more accurately, I feel bad about liking it. So we'll come back here once we have the bell ringing key item. I do not have a way to ring that bell right now. And it is an oddly shaped bell. Finger Ruins of Rhea. Not sure that was marked before I actually got in there. Probably not. Well, guess we go back to Sir William Coast Cross and go back this way to find maybe another side of grace, hopefully, outside that boss fight. We'll see. So we can get a level. Level up. Guess dexterity could work. Cool. Keep on moving. Some starlight. Cool. Hmm. It. Deflect here is situational. Oh, it's because of... Oh, that's funny, because it means you left immediately after you laughed about about getting me to swear. When, when you got all smug, I sent you a warning as a bit. Hello, how are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, it... Oddly convenient timing, I guess. There you go. But... Should be fighting a knight made of sludge soon. Relatively soon. Once I get 
the bottom of this stone coffin fissure area. There's a big pit down here I'm gonna have to drop down. That'll lead to a boss. Oh! Okay. I... I might not recommend getting lost. But enjoy yourself, I suppose. Don't die. Or if you do, at least have someone to tell me so I can monetize it. That was a joke. Okay. So what is around here on this edge? Is this a dungeon? This might be a dungeon. Okay. Well, thank you. Make sure I find out so I can cry. Okay, good. Yeah, don't... Don't, don't get in cars with people who regularly crash their car. Maybe. Not yet. I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell. You would be dead anyway. Don't test that theory, please. So, is there anything of note down here, or... Is this... This was pointless! This was completely pointless. Heartless. Heartless, after all. Yeah, please. Don't die for any reason. Telling people what? Not to die? Heartless, or... What are you referring to? Strafe. Let the lightning exhaust itself, and well, we got hit. Oh well. You're the one who makes the heartless jokes. That's your bit. Are you just saying it because you want me to not steal your bit? Or... My pseudonym is self-chosen. If you're sleepy sleep, we're not gonna stop you. Oh, okay. Nice. How do you like your coffee? Come on. Have fun. Enjoy. Oh, please. I should probably buff myself out. A little. Just for the sake of eliminating these eels. Okay. Blood flame. Okay. Come on, come on. Slash, slash, slash. It's not really making a difference. Oh well. Still pretty sure it's a five hit kill. Yeah. Well, maybe. I'd be able to turn from a five hit to a. Mm, never mind. That scissor is hard to get. Whatever. Okay. Come on, come on. Uh, ooh. Uh. Getting up there might be a bit tough. What is that mist? Some kind of sleep mist, or...? What is going on here? It's strange. Dodge! I... Okay. Thanks. Cut up, cut up, cut up the eels. Come on. Okay. Good enough. So... Anything else around here, or...? This drops down to... The totally pointless coastline. But, something's shooting? Oh, something is throwing massive pots at me. That's crazy. Let's buff back up. Golden bow. Black flame's protection. Blood flame. Okay. Take out the eels. They're hostile. So I'll kill him. Thanks. Stuff. Hello there. Spit out your innards. Like Pukamooka or something. Innards out. Sometimes they do drop. Glove warts, which again, I don't use. Spirit ashes, so not much benefit to me. Okay. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Thanks. Thank you. Cool. Oh, ooh. Alright. Okay, so I guess you're right. You're not a Gen 1 -er. Good for you. 
Thank goodness. I would have I would have cried if you were. Maybe even fed you to worms. Of course, these are not worms. These are eels. Come on, come on. Slash, slash. I know, I know. This is this is part of the bit. Okay. Hmm. And that's what happens. When something doesn't go over well, you say it was a joke. And when something does go over well, you say it was serious. Or if people... If it does go over well and people laugh at it, then you also say it's a joke. So basically everything has to be a joke. So that... What is that guy? Oh, just a giant. Okay. So in that case, maybe I want to sort of rush past all the eels right now and take out the giant then I can go back and kill the eels sure black flames protection blood flame blade okay go around these giant rock pots okay gotta pass it that's simple enough Hello there, hello. Hi. So now we can just chop you up. I oh, okay. Never mind. I don't have a good way to break stance, which is annoying right now. That katana would actually do decently well here, but let's see what happens. Just bleed you, and there we go, dead. Good DPS at least. Okay. Hmm, let's. Oh, we get a hefty cracked pot from taking that guy out, too. So now we got four. A bunch of the belly rat jail. Hmm. Okay, more eels. Oh, well. Guess we could say more ray. Not really. Okay. Thank you. Dodge that. Keep on chopping. Thank you. Cool. Let's kill the rest of the eels for fun. Aims protection. Blood flame blade. The thing about Black Flame's protection is, of course, just the fact that it reduces your received healing. That is rather annoying. Come on. Okay. Yeet. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Okay. Good stuff. Hmm, mm hmm. Chop, chop up, chop. Okay. Oh, oh. Chop. Some of them. Oh, there was just an item to pick up there, and it was just a mushroom. All right, cool. Slash, slash. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Slash. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. All right, then. Go over and chop more eels in pieces. There's one more coffin ship, and I guess my question is, what's all around the actual hole? We'll see. And it's interesting how it doesn't have a marking, but it does certainly seem as if you get some debuff to stamina regen whenever you get touched by the eel guts. Which, you know, they're never in a boss line, so it's never really relevant, but interesting how they seem to have just a totally unique invisible debuff. Strange choice. Okay. Cool. Thank you. And all right, all right. Two, three, four, five, six. What is interesting is that you can dodge that attack, that sweep by getting close. But it seems that only the head is a hitbox, or at least that the actual worm body is high up enough that it can just totally miss you. Either way, we got. 
Another funny purple flower. More coffin shit. I really do wonder how I'm going to get to that island over there. Not a problem right now. I... I didn't manage to kill that bird. Probably good for my immortal soul. Okay. Let's go up. Get into that coffin ship. Go around here. I hope there's a nearby side of grace. I think there should be at least one more before the fight. But again, you never really know. Okay. I bet that drop would have killed me. Especially since... Oh, it's just into water. Okay. It's a total overhang. Yeah, that would have sucked. At least a little. So... Hmm. Kill that giant. Pass this coffin ship. Go to now. More deep purple willies for eternal sleep. Crafting. Hmm. This is oddly empty. There don't seem to be any enemies around. Makes me feel as if an ambush is imminent. Or maybe it's just to psych you out. Okay. Do I hear something coming? I am not sure. But. Pick up a number of these deep purple willies. Or. Not? That's strange. You don't have the right. So someone would come over here and tend them, or despair ahead. That might be more, maybe. Maybe. Now that eventually the NPC followers start going kind of crazy. What that means, we'll see. And oh, what are, what is your deal? Some kind of sleep slime or I black flame should probably do a trick. Yeah, okay. Cool. So they got a fire weakness like any self-respecting enemy here. Come on. Oh my goodness, that damage is tiny. Okay. Yeah, but big resistance to anything. Physical. Weakness to fire, specifically. Oh well. How many of them are there? That's funky. Uh, get our blessing back up. Golden Vow. Well, it will increase my defense, too. Our boost is not all that important. Damage boost is not all that important here. It's not significant, really. Okay. All right, see? All righty. Come on. Thank you. Congealed putrescence. Found underground in the land where stone coffins drift. Bruise colored putrescence. Not really bruise. Not purple enough. That oozes from stone coffins congealed into a large viscous lump. Tools for crafting items found underground, yeah. The putrescence is what remains of the imperial lives kept within the stone coffins. And eventually we'll be able to find the putrescent knight, which is just a big blob of this. This ooze. Okay. That me when ooze. Is there more somewhere? So it must just be those that I'm walking onto. Okay. Come on. I actually did hit both, which is nice. How many have been hit with this? It's decent. The larger AoE the charge. Slightly more damage, but the larger AoE is the most important thing. Okay. So we go down here and then it'll lead a bit east under the water. That will take me to the boss. Uh, well, before we hop down, let's see what else there might be to find around the edge. And 
You know, let's go for Fire Spark Perfume Bottle. Should level this thing up eventually. Oh, I? This thing just really needs levels then. Yeah, yeah. But. That is a source of fire damage. Certain as something like Frenzy Flame could be nice. But it. Not much really matters anymore, given that. It's the putrescence here. Well, actually, if this is putrescence. Presumably, this should do, do even better, maybe? I don't know. But. Hmm. Hmm. Not really, no. Black Flame's still a better option. That kind of saddens me. Okay. Burn. Burn. Well, not burn, but get crushed. Slow and painstaking process of burning future essence. Okay. How much more? We got more blobs over there. Another blob over there. Yep. Cool. Cool. And, okay, two charges is necessary, unless I want to pull up with another swing, which does not particularly entice me. Do they respawn or something? They might respawn. I don't know. Either way, I would imagine that at least one more should be an item here or something. To reward me from going ar for going around instead of just hopping right into the crevice. Maybe. Either way. Take out more slimes. It does surprise me. How tough these are to handle. And maybe it is a Shadow Chi blessing or like their of issue, but for slow moving trash, though to be fair, maybe that's to compensate for the fact that they literally are slow, slow moving trash. Very, very resilient. Because fire is clearly the best way to deal damage to them, but even then it's not crazy. I do wonder how well that Fire Spark Perfume Bottle will do if upgraded. That said, the Frenzy Flame Perfume Bottle is just going to do more damage purely due to the multi-scaling once I get it. Though to be fair, that's going to be Abyssal Woods, which is still some ways off. So also, the Perfume Bottles also aren't really ranged weapons. It's just a sweeping elemental weapon. Though to be fair, they do have weapon arts for that, but even then. It... It's honestly kind of surprising what their specific capabilities are in that case. Okay, we gotta get that back. I... They're not giving me flashback, back. Which is interesting. Okay. Come on, come on. And... I think that hit the wedge, but the AoE was still enough to catch it. Get a really nice view of the Shadow Tree over there. Interestingly enough, you can't actually approach the Shadow Tree in the way you can approach the Erd Tree. Eternal Sleep Grease and Drawstring Eternal Sleep Grease. Interesting. Sumables. Eternal Sleep. Same description, more or less. Okay. Eternal sleep, powerless to resist this velvet sleep, and will never rise again. How sad. Deep purple lily and not resin. Not resin? I thought it was resin. Okay. Got a bunch more putrescence! And then we can go down to the theater. That's great. But it's because all that putrescence eventually drops down into there. Where? And they become the knights. We are getting a bit back, actually. Still taking a lot. Alright. This hit both. This should hit both. 
Yep, so aiming a bit behind is the best way. Because after all, you kind of you aim for the front. And never mind. Okay. Thank you. Good black flame. Come on. Get multiple. Thank you. Good stuff. Okay. Please, please, please. At least you can do it simply by just keeping the distance, but... It feels like it should not take this long. It's rather... disproportionate. I do wonder what I could even make with this congealed putrescence, actually. I feel like it would have to be some kind of throwing pot. It's associated with an, the impure dead. Maybe those grave crickets, and I think you can get sort of better human bone shards than some undead enemies here. And the shadow is definitely interesting looking. <clears throat> and you can see it just sort of darken into nothingness when you look out on the coastline. Fair enough. Thank you. More putrescence. We've almost made our way back around to where we were before at the start. So we can... Get through. Cool. That did hit multiple. Alright. It took a bit to hit multiple, but it still hit multiple. There we go. Just smithing stones. Get a bit of flask back. And collect these dumb little runes. Okay. Go over, go forward, get another. Pretty sure those don't respawn, actually. Which means that they can be farmed, but only with difficulty. There's some enemies who drop it, but I don't remember which ones exactly. Hmm. Keep on moving. Should be in a position to just drop down now. So that's what we'll do. Thank you very much. Here we are. We can start going down into the stone coffin fissure. Let's put some light back on. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what do you know? More putrescence! Awesome! That's what I like to see. I guess I don't technically have to kill these. If I get a set of grace, I will upgrade Fire Spark just to use against these guys. In case there are more around. That said, it. I don't even know. How do we have to go into the fissure before they. Give us a side of grace. Remove this marker now. So. Hmm. Over here, that should be Ch Charo's hidden grave, I believe. Putrescence. Another drop down. Okay. What on the fissure? Hello there. Hi. <clears throat> I forget where I even got Fire Spark Perfume Bottle in the first place. Lightning Perfume Bottle was just lying around in Cerulean Ghost. In a pool of water by a bunch of lightning goats. But... Uh, let's see how many we can get here. Will that go? Nice. That did not even... F that did make you drop down, but it took time. Okay, and got multiple. Cool. Toss that again. Nice. So, grab, grab, grab. Hmm. How do I do this then? Just want to make sure I don't fall off. Luckily, that doesn't move me as much forward as Bold of Grand Sacks did. 
Don't really think I have to worry about that making you fall off then. Hmm. Get to the bottom of this fissure. But sure. Every little item gets grabbed. Oh well. Hi. Toss. Move far away enough. Cool. But it's so weak to fire. It's so funny, really. I. Wait. I couldn't walk onto you because the bush or the terrain or. Weird. Huh. Maybe I'm accidentally breaking lock. Maybe it's a stick sensitivity thing. And okay, there's something there. Maybe I need to. Wait. Is that locked off? Can I not go there right now? That's strange. Now the putrescent night might be locked behind some amount of story progress. At least there's a side of grace down there. That's good. So my progress will not be for nothing, even if I can't actually fight the thing right now. Because honestly, I might have to progress a bit of Telia's questline to get him to go looking for St. Trina. I think that might be it, and then that lets you go inside and fight the Petrescent Knight. Yeah, because... Nicola's rune will break somehow. Past a certain point in progression. And presumably that's a bit like Morgoth walking off the... That almost sucked bad. Frenzy Flame Prescription in similar areas that... Some story progress is required to unlock them. Maybe. We'll see. By the way, we can at least get down there. That'll be nice. Thank you. So much of this congealed putrescence. Or putrescent slimes, or... What even would you call them? Anything down there in the water, or... I don't know. I can drop down. Slowly but surely. Toss another. Main thing is taking advantage of not being seen of the stealth modifier. And we weren't able to do it that time because I didn't even see that one. Okay. Hmm. If only we had a fire and a sword here or something. Oh well. Toss. Toss again. Get to that grace. Okay. Charge up. How'd that brick lock? Whatever. Thank you. Toss another. Go down. Okay. Almost at the bottom. Hmm. Nothing else immediately sticks out, so. Go down this way. We should have more or less enough to kill the remaining putrescences. Calmness. Here is the message. You know what? I'm vulnerable to group think. Well, I guess that was supposed to be at least partially guiding. A drop down, maybe? Maybe. Come on. Come on. And no stealth mod. Okay. Burn, burn, burn. Thank you. Burn and burn. All right. Deep purple lily. Three of them, a congealed putrescence, and so we can drop down here. We're basically out of FP, but we can at least we could sort ahead. Oh, someone convincing you to drop off right before you get to the grace. That would be evil. Truly evil. Okay. This is... The Fissure. Alright then. Can we get through? It does not seem like it. No horse ahead. Time for you don't have the right. Be wary of a liar. Salmon seal sealed, sealed and obscured by Mikola. Yep. 
He's not a good guy. Got a little bit more time. Guess I could poke a bit more around this area of the coast until I presumably get to the hidden grave, maybe. Do you want to know what this, what that is, and how I'd get there? Hmm. Hidden grave and cerulean coast. Move over in that direction. Spot I marked. Past the shadow undead that I beat up a long time ago. Cool, cool, cool. Did I get this stone coffin stuff? Yeah, I did. Okay. So we're chilling. Let's see what's down in here. Oh, another set of grace or something. In the little bit of time remaining. But. No putrescent night. That. Actually came as a bit of a surprise to me. Did not know it would be sealed off like that. Yeah, presumably it's Shadow Keep. That limits it. Get near so the rune breaks and. Everyone starts going crazy and. Telia goes looking for St. Trina and stuff like that. Hmm. Let's go down. Up down here. See what's left. Hmm. No light up right now. To be fair, I don't really need it, but the question is how I'd get over there. To do any jumping puzzles or. No, that wouldn't work. Mm -mm. Kill more eels, so... We're not... Oh, a cemetery shade. Great, okay. Oh, come on. I hate you. Golden vow. Cool. Come on, I... Oh, baby, I... Never mind, I... Okay. Didn't expect there to be another. Two, one, two. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Okay, well, it worked one way or the other. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay. Down in here we got more. Eels. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Slash, slash, slash. Thank you. Slash. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Wonder if anything's gonna be the end of this. Probably not, honestly. Okay. Slash, slash, slash. Okay. Yeah, that was pointless. Okay. Let's keep moving. More eels. Maybe more cemetery shades. I would hope not. But at least the eels go down. You know, I'm honestly surprised that there's no special drop from the eels. I feel like it would make some sense for them or something other than glove warts, eel strings or something. There's so many things that are totally weird. And just unique item drops for some reason. Then the eels have nothing. Hmm. Maybe, maybe they're trying to not encourage you to kill the eels. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Hmm. There is... Final... Just another side of grace. That's what I'm looking for. Slash, 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 and well, now you see me. Not great. Got this going, and... Grey bird. Range was good. Okay. Well, then. Swords back on. Cool. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Slash, slash, slash. 
Oh, the blessings boon. Guess why not put on Golden Vow? Fizz resistance. But of course, we do have. There's other gray birds, too. Let's do that real quick. Except. Oh, there you are. Cool. Done. Let's get them all while we can. Oh, there. And there we go again. How many and where? Well, I. Thanks. Easy enough to avoid. Hmm. It's clearly one of those mausoleums over there. But again, it raises the question of how am I meant to get there? Let's put our swords back on. Over here. Take you up. Funny eel. Kill more funny eels. Cool. Continue slashing. Thank you. Okay. Slash. Okay. Alright. But it... It's clearly... So that makes you drop. Makes your stamina recover more slowly. I don't know exactly what it is. Should probably be Shatter Tree. Alright. Cool. Thanks. Duh. Oh, well, okay. Alright. Can I... Oh, the bug got me. Great. Okay. Come on, heal. Before any of that garbage happens. Come on. Now you're dead at least. Okay. So, oh, Gravekeeper's Cookbook. Oh. Peak Bone Arrow, a record of crafting techniques of the Gravekeepers who watch over those who rest in the lower shadow. Probably that cemetery shade, maybe. Bone arrow, peak bone arrow, fletch, peak bone bolt. Hmm. Peak. Putrescent soaked tip. And that white smoke warring in foes. Tip is soaked in putrescence. Human build not in combat, drawing aggression. On demi humans, even if they are already in combat state, craftable item. Since the flight. And a peak bone bolt. It's an interesting concept. Unfortunately, I can't imagine it would be all that useful right now. And I... Oh, okay. It's nearly quite bad, but... I don't think I can really get out of here. Now that I've fallen in. So the only way out is through. In that case... Well... Wherever we're going, I guess I'm going. Is it always dark? Did not expect it to be that kind of fall. Is a way back, or...? Okay, so there is a way back. I wonder where the outlet is going to be. Oh well. Oh, I... Oh! Okay. Exploding worm. But of course, if you burst them down fast enough, you can prevent them from doing that. Interesting way to fight. Okay. What I could do, of course, is just trigger them and dip. Yeah. Oh, so they don't do that unless you're suitably close. There we go. Still drop their runes. Somber Smithing Stone 4. Nice. It's not actually all that wide ranging. Lodge, okay. Grave Glove Horde, and... Where is this taking me? <coughs> is this the Hidden Grave? Or, we got Shadow Undead Dogs. Shadow Undead Sorcerer. No, really. S casually stumbled into an entirely separate area. Now this and oh, or does that just drop you back out? Gonna be another legendary. Yeah, it's just a grand grave glove war. That is okay, I suppose. It's not an amazing reward, but it was 
suitable. It's just that I don't use spirit ashes. Okay. Cool. Let's go the other way this time, though. Yeah, it does drop you back out. Rather easily. And conveniently. Grave glove or Got more eels. Hello. Hi. Hmm. Come on. Slash, slash, slash. But it just... Where is a side of grace? Where is... The end point? Or at least... Sort of intended stopping point here. That's where we just were. Another coffin. Got more worms. That might put me out on the other side. I don't know. It would make sense to me. If I had taken the other path through that hole. Okay. Alright. wonder if... I feel like a pot bear carrying a shadow tree fragment. Makes sense to be around here somewhere. I don't see any. This is just that hole again. Okay. Hmm. Some there. Okay. Alright. Dodge, dodge. Okay. Exhaust yourself. Here we are. Slash, slash. Slash. Okay. String. Shadow Realm Rune. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Hmm. Where are you? Where is... Alright. Anything in the middle, or Lost Ashes of War? I imagine that one of these spots should lead to... Side of, terminate in a side of grace, but... Hmm... I suppose if all this fails, I could take that other route and see where it sends me, but... I want to find a side of grace first, so I can just... Progress immediately. Immediately come back. That way down here from up there. How I'll get up there is another question, and I don't think you can actually get on the stone coffin. It no you can. And they even have the requisite grave glove or Okay. But it is interesting there given that. The glove warts were originally, quote unquote, or at least used as offerings to heroic dead. So there is a set of grace over there. I want to go to that island though first. Let's see what's there. All right. Thing here doesn't really seem like it. Some rotter fruit, fruit that I have basically no use for. All right. Okay. And really here, okay. We'll activate this and go through that route to that island and we'll be good to go. Cross Grace, yeah. Cerulean Coast West. That'll work me back around. So I suppose that the St. Trina is sealed away. It's basically their frenzied flame, which is interesting. That Trina's compassion is deemed a danger to his plan in the way that the frenzied flame was to the Erdtree. It's interesting. Now this way this time. So we got Shadow Undead. Thank you. The end of this. Ridge cave. Keep on using. Walk on. Oh, this should terminate that island. Okay. Shiver white flesh. Thank you. I imagine there's going to be a crab in here. Let's prepare ourselves for the possibility. Sings boon. Golden Vow. 
Black Flame, and it's not like I can put Void Flame on this. Okay. Yep, exactly. Oh, and it's a crayfish instead, actually. Okay. Cool. I oh, what? Oh? Oh, come on. I hate you so much. Heal. And Slam down. I okay. Thanks. I dodge. Okay. Ooh, nice. And can I... Hmm. Could have been better. But at least it's going. Okay. That's where we came from, so... Check and see what else is in here real quick. Crab eggs. Take you out. Thank you. Just dead crab. Okay. What is on the other side of what is basically their Church of Dragon Communion? Well, this is basically Coastal Cave. It's basically the way to Church of Dragon Communion. Alright. What is this? Oh, hello, crab. Hi. Dodge. Slam. Slam. Die. Okay. Cool. Crab eggs, triple white flash, more eels. Not a mausoleum, it might be. Maybe. Fought hmm. a ghost slim dragon, cheap blood beam. Decent amount of progress made. That just totally misses. It's funny. Angle a bit to the right. Comes over the swing, deviating to the left. Well, let us continue. Oh, another giant crab. Hello. One, two. Let's go for another hit. Simple enough. Spam the slam. Crab eggs. Really just... What is the purpose and reward of this area? I feel like a shadow tree fragment is in order and makes sense. Oh well. Hit and I miss? Okay. Slam. Slam. There we go. So being up close is what ensures that the blood AoE hits. Makes sense. And therefore what ensures we actually get the blood was to pro. The damage contribution is rather meaningful. Hmm. The wonder is. Presumably there's a mausoleum in here, so I wonder who's inside in Hellfight. Then in this? Perfumed oil of Rana. Reusable. Use FP to spout flames forward. A small bottle wrapped in a bright red cloth. Full of flammable perfume oil, all dexterity. Dancers of Rana keeps these concealed as they dance, marking the height of their passion with an explosion of searing flame and sweet, enticing scents. Hmm. So it's... Perfume. So the dancer of Rana should be in here, presumably. Well, that's fun! It's also a lot like... The flame sweep on... Sword of Night and Flame. So, let's put our light back on. Kill a bunch of eels. Get in that mausoleum. Where, again, presumably it's gonna be Dancer Arana. Thank you. Okay. Take her out, get the reward for it, and... Conclude things there. Get rid of that set of grace. I wonder if Tilly might have something to say about... That barrier with St. Trina. By all that putrescence now that we've been there. I don't think. I don't know. Come on. And of course, Sam gonna come back real slow because of the funny eel strings. Come on. Let's down here, anything, and. No, really, no. Do we even get around the coast this way? The answer seems to be no. Okay. 
It's sort of an S shape that maybe actually more of a G. I don't think that's really a promising avenue of comparison. Okay, rata fruits. Thing here or no no no. Though that wedge might lead around the side. A bit more, it did not. So here we are, that mausoleum. Which one is this? Slash, 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 slash. Okay. This is... Saw their nameless mausoleum. So... Western, Southern. Should be Eastern, maybe, and Northern. Thought they're both on Shadow Altus, honestly. Shadow Altus is real big. Should have a lot of things in it. Slash, slash, slash. Okay. And then... Around, get back around here. Chop up you. Try not to miss. Come on. Okay. But again, it is a question of what the dancer will be weak to. Some people think Tanith might be connected to the dancers, especially since they have fire associations, which might explain why she went to the Volcano Manor and found a record. I don't know. Thank you. Slash. Especially since Rana is, I believe, one of the few sort of mention purely mentioned locations in Elden Ring. Because usually if somewhere's mentioned, you can actually go there. It's a place in the lands between. But, except for, I suppose, the Badlands. But Rana is not somewhere you can go to. And Tanith is explicitly from a distant land. So it makes you wonder what her deal is. Okay. It's part of the freakiest power couple in the lands between. Come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Okay. Oh, but I forgot to have both equipped. That's all my attacks were. It's a slow and singular. All right. I need to take a nap after this. But we'll go on take on Dancer Arana, and that'll be last thing for today, then. So their name was Mausoleum. And then this is where we'll go next. Should be Hidden Grave, I think. Not being able to go deep in the fissure is kind of sad. So their name was Mausoleum. As, yep, the Dancer Orana. Weak to Strike and Pierce. Okay. So in that case, you know, let us... Actually, we could use this. Could use the arm. That'll be funny. Let's put up our stuff. Blessings Boon. Golden Vow. She's all physical. Black Flames. And use that. Uh, flames protection, and then we can grail her immediately. All right, hello, dancer. Nice. There we go. Cool. So, dodge, move in, and develop. Well, all right. Ooh, you got your fire. Ooh. Hmm. hmm. Okay. How long can you keep going with that dance? But was is nice. I, I, mmm, AoE is good. Can I? Oh, oh, okay. Mmm. Hi. -hmm. Slam. Just gotta make sure she gets in close. And oh my goodness, the damage on that was actually kind of crazy. Okay. Oh. Okay. Come on. Very good at timing that I rush in. Okay, well, we kind of got you with some of it. AoE, but has its limits then. Come on in and... Uh, too good at dodging that. Thanks! Nice. 
Slam and s or not? Mmm, flasks annoying. Mm -hmm. Come on in and slam again. I oh, please. Mm -hmm. Weed is a fun option, but not entirely suited to this. I come on. It did hit, but. It's fun music. Yeah, I can't afford to do anything slow here. I'm just gonna put on the Mesmer Spear and spam impaling for us. That's why I have that thing. So. It's not complicated. If I do it differently. Mesmer Soldier's Quality Spear. There we are. Can't put that on. Spirit. Starlight. Uh, Blessing's Boon. Flask. Golden Vow. Black Flame. Grail. And we're good to go. Well then, pick that up and get this going. Let's roar to knock you down. Good stuff. Hi. Go ahead, stay nice and away. Come on. Ooh, 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 actually better at dodging that than I like. Okay, I... Mmm, trouble. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, she's actually real good at dodging. Luckily, if we're close, we can counter your stab back rather easily. I, okay. Huh. Go ahead, drink. Won't do much for you, and dodge up. Wow. Deals a lot more damage than I would like. Thanks. Thanks. I mm, can't actually spam that with impunity. Stab. We got one flask. Stab. Range on this is good. Okay. It's so nice to do this with a spear. Dodge, dodge. Dodge, dodge. I... Do you have Deflect here up, right? No, I don't. I don't think I do. Yeah, I switched it out for the Sands Break tier, I'm pretty sure. I'm just seeing. Yeah, yeah. She have her stance here, so... Couldn't get the Deflections here even if I wanted to. And it... Well, that was stupid. Okay, one more time. Honestly... I need Fire Resistance. I'll just use Protection of the Earth Tree instead. That fire, she's using a tool, a consumable. Skills pure off of Dex too. It was an oil jar that we picked up slightly northwest of this mausoleum on the same little island. Interesting stuff. Say that much. Oh, I could put I could put Blood Flame on this. That's right. I should. Oh no, but that's still a barrier of gold because I thought I was gonna be able to fight Putress at night. And then I just couldn't. That's right. Okay. Cool. Well then. Grail. Thanks. Knock you down. Body spear. Cool. Nice. Stab. Nice. Alright. Stab again. Lovely. Didn't hit me and I okay. Mm -mm. Stab. Blood Flame. When are you gonna get your blood loss? Stab. Good points. Good stuff. And stab. Stab. No flash for you. And you're dead. I love this thing. Enemy fell. And we got her sword and her outfit. Cool. So that'll be it for today, I suppose. Dancing Blade of Arana. Unending dance. Decorative swords ablaze with impassioned red. Not actually fire. A pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands, used by the dancers of Arana. Strikes enemies with a dancing assault when executing a strong attack. You can skip an unending dance of Fierce Dance formed by succession of slashing attacks. Hold the button down to sustain the dance for as long as stamina allows, and the first golem summon nearby gives you infinite stamina for a short period of time, so they're obviously meant to be used together. 
Red, red, red of the Rana dancers enhances the power of dancing attacks. The dance of Rana is one of burning passion. The most passionate dancers never will have their fiery dance to end, losing even their names as they dance on. See the passion fade, see the dancers flame. Extinguish. BTS Army Forever RRM. Hello! Hajime Mashtenshi. I was actually just about to hop off, but thank you for the follow. Nice to meet you. I'll be getting on at a similar time as I did today, which is to say 12 p.m. EDT. EST. I'm about daylight saving something. Tomorrow, and doing more of this. So if you're interested, feel free to hop back in and join the Discord so you have some knowledge, schedule information. The link is below. That's the power dance attacks, designed to protect the sword wielding hand. Long back trousers worn underneath the bright red dress, metal bracer, bright red dress, and hood. Well, actually, I'm gonna go to where Tillier was real quick then. First. I wonder if you'll have anything to say, because we got right outside the Putrescent Knight's Arena. Okay, he has nothing to say. We need a bit more story progress for that. To get him to move down there and help us fight the Putrescent Knight. So the next thing we'll do is explore this area. I might be able, if time allows, move on to Jagged Pete and fight the Dragon then. But, no, what I mean is I'm not doing anything more. I mean, to fight that boss, I'll need to do a bit more, but... I will be hopping off now, so everyone, thank you for watching, and Sanarai again, see you tomorrow.